Hello, America. Hey, Hello, the world. Hello to outer space <laughs> and all the places we don't know about. Hello, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I have no idea. Hello, what I'm right now. No, you haven't seen that movie. It's a wedding movie. I can't. I think it's a uh, the wedding planner actually, and uh, in the movie, the wedding coordinator or whatever, not the wedding coordinator, but she was like the choreographer or something like that. Mm -hmm. Every time they saw her, she was like, "Hello, Konnichiwa, Hola." Every like she was saying every language, and then she would introduce herself. <laughs> Like, let me just run down all the languages. And say hello. Not, it was so funny. That's that moment. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so wonderful. How are you doing? Oh, wait. We got to tell people. We got to do we it. We got to tell people who we are, what this is. I forgot. <laughs> hello, everyone. I am Chevy the Superstar, and I'm Toya. And this is Two Snaps and a Circle. <laughs> I snapped it. I snapped. You did it. I snapped. And I did a little circle too. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a good day. I knew it was going to be a good day. <laughs> 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 you came a long way. A long way, baby. It took like 27 episodes. Was this like 26, 25th? Something like that. 24, I think. 24, 24, that's mm -hmm. a good number. Mm -hmm. All numbers are good at more than one. <laughs> at this point, you're trying to end up on a movie quote? What you trying to do? I know, right? <laughs> Everything is better after one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What up, everybody? Oh, we. How yeah. y'all doing on this lovely Thursday right. evening? On that beautiful Thursday. <laughs> In, in wherever you are in the world, we are yeah. in Detroit, Michigan, streaming, coming from you live on this not so summer day. I know, like, what the heck? Like, I have sleeves. So. I, I, right. I was just sweating, like, sitting in this same spot Ouch. in my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot. I am so sorry. Gosh. <laughs> the, the sound you made was like. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My bad. Oh my god! But that—that's how I felt the other day with the weather. <laughs> like, yeah. why is it so warm? What is going on? And I'm in—you know—they say heat. They say heat goes up, right? It travels mm -hmm. up. So, like, bro, my I'm in upstairs room, and it is scorching, like. Scorching scorching like just do y'all have central air hot yes oh yeah it, it does it takes a lot to make its way up here and you know it is an older house and i think when they w the previous owners when they got it done they just was like let's just worry about the <laughs> main, like one bit in your you room. know right exactly <laughs> of course the basement is just like the coolest <laughs> <laughs> yeah the basement yeah the basement is just just so beautiful down there but then of course <laughs> it's like nobody wants to be in the basement right um but yeah we we've we've had some as as, as my pastor said he said we got two seasons in michigan <laughs> we got summer mm -hmm. and winter <laughs> And that happens every other day. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So, true. So, true. so yes, but uh, things are good. I cannot and will not complain. How about yourself? How about yourself? How you I feeling? I'm doing pretty good. You know, um, my glasses are fogged up because <laughs> I'm trying to cool down my hot, hot drink. Right, right. Um, she had to pull out a winter drink. Just <laughs> <laughs> I am cold. I ain't about to right. you. you said I got the long sleeves. <laughs> the long sleeves are on. I mean, it's a little chilly. Uh, what's up, Tanya? How you doing, girl? Hi, Tanya, girl. I was in full screen. I ain't see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I'm doing pretty good. Um, it is Funko Ween, halfway to fun. Halfway to Funko, mm -hmm. halfway to Halloween, mm -hmm. and so they are dropping all of these amazing, amazing Funko Pops um, yeah. for Halloween time, mm -hmm. and it makes me so happy. They dropped a um a Danny 
from Hocus Pocus with Binks. Oh, snap. They dropped a, a Ash from Evil Dead with a Bloody Chase. Mm -hmm. They dropped a La Leronia with a Chase where she crying. It's uh, they dropped, they finally dropped, they live with the chase in black and white and the regular one is in color and the dude, the main character from they live. Wow. That I, I pre-ordered those. The Well, everyone except Danny because Danny sold out and they yeah. made a, a soda, a, a ash soda with a bloody chase. Uh, It's a lot more. They made masks. They have Halloween masks. Funko Halloween masks. You can be be a, a stay puffed marshmallow man. Or you can nice. be it, or you can be Batman too, or whatever. But who cares? About no, that? no, my energy like that. Like, <laughs> like you can do this. You can be Batman. You can be Batman. I don't know who wants to be Batman. But me, <laughs> me. I want to be Batman. <laughs> uh, so, in honor of Fun Halloween, I put, you know, because I always display some Funko Pop behind mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. I am displaying a lot of horror Funko Pops. I have Let's many go. more. Let's I have go. many more. But you know, they're coming out with a carry. Oh, I didn't pre-order the carry. They're coming out with a carry where she not really? after she got the prom. Yeah, yeah. Get up, and oh, I realized that I never bought carry and now she's $50. Dang. So, Dang. Yeah, I'm going to have to by that you have to find reason. a way you know find a way wait 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 to check out <laughs> yeah yeah but no that has been the highlight of my week fun queen yes, that's so what's it up. has been a good week because mm -hmm. of that so that's beautiful yes i'm i'm Love doing it. good i'm doing good you know yeah. what I'm oh, and it's a three-day weekend because memorial day is on monday that is so true it's shola it's shola a day to uh do everything that you would do at a barbecue but for oh, our fallen that. soldiers from a war right <laughs> that just kind of hit me today when i was at talking to a friend and was like hold on yeah like that is what memorial day is about right and then it's like man i never you know thought about it in that way i just thought about it as another holiday to get together and right but right. when you when you but you really settle into it and you're like I I'm not saying I shouldn't be celebrating it but because all the I probably know one per but they didn't they served they didn't they didn't but I'm sure your dad know may have known people who it's possible yeah my parents may know people who have been been in battle and past possibly possibly because they were. I don't, they, neither one of, they both served, but they weren't in any wars. And I don't, and they were in, they were in the army in the eighties. So I'm not sure what war may it have had a ended or in desert storm. Okay. Okay. But Tanya, do y'all oh. celebrate Memorial day or do y'all have a day like Memorial day mm -hmm. that y'all celebrate? Every every time you ask somebody a question, you always right. pause like they right here. <laughs> it is it is like it, it's just the way a conversation goes. You ask a question and you wait for the response, but it seems so it it, it feels so rude to move on. It right. just, like it feels so rude to be like, "Hey, y'all do that," and then you anyway. change the subject, and it's like <laughs> it two things later, subject. like because like, we actually don't care about your answer. Like it's, it, it, that's how it feels. Like we don't care about your answer. <laughs> oh, thanks for the bit. Is that a cheer means bits, Devin? Thank you. <laughs> what up, what up, what up, what up? Hey, what's goody? But yes, man. Um, but yeah, I'm. I'm with it. I'm here. I'm here. And thank you for the cheer, mm -hmm. Devin. Whatever that means. I think it's money. I think that's what it means. So that's cool. We need that. We need that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Share that. Share that. So. I have hella movie news. Well, not hella, but I do have a nice amount of movie news. Nice today. little chunk. Like a little chunk. Just a nice little chisel. Um, oh, hold on. Before you start movie news, I just want to tell the people I'm about to be drinking a uh, fireball from a Patron bottle. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be alarmed. 
It's just it's just a little cinnamon whiskey. <laughs> oh, oh so it's Veterans Day. Okay, so if uh, for those who may not know, Tanya's from the UK. Don't know the exact location, but um, yeah, it's a little different over there. But you know, <laughs> it's lit. Drink at the same time. Wait, what? Oh, drink at the same time. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit slow. I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> My hat is crooked and it's annoying the hell out of me. So you got to go this way. This way. Yep, the, yep, oh, right there. Right there. Okay. I've right. learned. I've learned. It's, it's, everything is a little off. Like, I want to point this way, <laughs> right? Oh, right. So, y'all ready for this uh, uh, movie news? About to drop the, the icon in the chat and sang the little record that I created. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boo -boo I messed up. <laughs> I was saying booby move. Boop, boop, doop, <laughs> move, move, move. I heard it though. I heard it though. I heard it though. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to do it. Okay. And I was off key a little bit. I was off key a little bit. You know, I'm getting over. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Movie news. There we go. That's better. Nice. That's better. Because uh, my mouth Beautiful. got a little caught up in my brain. It's I don't know. Okay. It's okay. When know. we get that soundboard, it's, it's going to be cool because you just got to press a button. <laughs> and it's going to be our auto-tune. I'm going to sound like Mariah Carey. It's going to sound yeah. beautiful. I cannot wait. <laughs> sound like Mariah Carey, okay? <laughs> All right. So with a little news, a little movie news, The Rock will play Crypto, the super dog, in the DC League of Superheroes movie and or TV show that is coming out soon. I don't know why they need that. And I don't <laughs> I didn't know that dogs had superpowers, but I digress. <laughs> they do. <laughs> um, the Resident Evil Infinite Darkness movie will premiere on Netflix on July 8th. And if you have not seen the 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 other Resident Evil movie, the cartoon movie that they have on Netflix, you need to watch it because it's it's really good. It's better than half of the Resident Evil movies that came out. Like it is so good. And I'm so glad that it's coming out with another one because it's probably gonna be really better. Sick. It's really better. Uh <laughs> how long have I been doing the jingle now? Oh shoot. Um, let's see, since like episode maybe like City, City. 10 maybe. Yeah, maybe even 10, like 10. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, maybe the jingle came in after that. Yeah, I'm about to go find that out. That's, that's a good trivia question. That is a good trivia question. Okay, I'm going to go find the answer so we can, <laughs> we can put it out there. We're going to be dropping little hints for y'all, and then one day we're just like, so. <laughs> What's the answer for this? All right, guys. Did you guys see the trailer for Eternals? That dropped on Monday morning. It was a great start to the week. It was a beautiful, 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 beautiful trailer. Amazing star-studded cast. Beautifulness. Just amazing. If you have not seen it, go check it out. If you don't know what it is, it is a Marvel movie about things I have no idea what it's about. But if you want to know more, you can go out there I'll and you can find the answers. <laughs> but I'm going to wait until the movie comes out so I can learn about it because that's how I do Marvel. <laughs> Just to throw that's that out That's how you Marvel. <laughs> you want to know how to Marvel? You find out when you find out. <laughs> uh, the last two parts of La Casa de Papier. Papier. <laughs> Drops. I don't know what you told me, so I can't even help you. <laughs> A pal, I think is what it is. It <laughs> drops on Netflix <laughs> on September 3rd. And uh, the second part drops on November 3rd. Also, just to throw this out there, if you are a Lucifer fan, Lucifer drops tomorrow and Cuella DeVille comes out or Cuella comes out tomorrow as well. I'm so um, so that's also a quiet place comes out too tomorrow if you into going to the movie theaters and I'm I'm this close this close right to going to you see going it to in the, the movies theaters, yeah so I really really I feel like everybody has one film that they're like this close like I'm I might go just might I just might okay there may be a to a Tomb Raider sequel on the horizon. Uh, Misha Green, the showrunner for um, Lovecraft Country, yes, recently uh, did a screenshot of um, the finished first draft of the new 
Tomb Raider film so. that may be happening, but who knows? It's just the script. So it's I mean, script. it's very, it's anything. still very exciting. Still, still very new. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see the new Tomb Raider film that came out because I am partial to the Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider one. Man, it's, it's yeah, really not good. Come on, man. Yeah, one. I'm sorry. Um, it was really bad. I don't know. I don't know if anybody can top her. I don't think. I don't know if anybody can. I mean, I don't even know who the lady is in the other one. No offense to that wonderful lady. I'm sure she's a <laughs> sorry great actor, to that woman. But sorry to that woman because I don't know her. I don't know her. All right, so a surprising trailer dropped this week called Gunpowder Milkshake. I am here for this film. What is it? It is a star-studded cast starring Karen Gillan, Jill Gillan, I think, from Guardians mm -hmm. of the Galleon, Ga <laughs> from Guardians of the Galaxy, <laughs> and Jumanji, and yeah. Doctor Who. Okay. Um, Angela Bassett. You don't need to say who, what she from. Okay, you better know who she is. You better know. Okay, Lena Hetty, is that how you say her name? From Game of Thrones. She was a sister who was so. having sex with a brother, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe mm -hmm. that's how you say her name. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We call her Cersei around these parts. Cersei. <laughs> or bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I just... <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, that's funny. Hey. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, what's her name? Carla. How you say this last lady, lady's name? Um, the lady from Watchmen. I don't know how to say her last name. And the Hunting of Bly Manor. Very mm. pretty lady. The pretty lady. The mama. She was the mama. I and, know and her. A, you yeah, know I'm, her. I know her, but I don't remember her name. Oh, <laughs> I, I know her though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the mama from Crazy Rich Asians. Okay. Yes. And uh, a white man. From straight out of Compton. I forgot to write his name down. I forgot to write his name down. Oh, uh, damn. He, he was I, like, I think his first name is Paul. That's yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Straight out of Compton and 12 years a slave. Yes. Y'all know the man. And many you know others. <laughs> and many others. Many <laughs> others are in this film. And it's about a girl who I guess is a hitman and she killed the wrong people. So the people coming after her and then her mama come and help her take these people down. It's just a whole bunch of women killing men. So. Wow. It's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so with that. Totally great. The trailer is beautiful. And Angela Bassett is in there and she's wielding a gun and she's doing stuff. There so we go. I'm, Thank you. Oh, Rayla. there you go. Giamonte. <laughs> You got it. You know it. He is, he you has know it. it. No, or, real or, in, the, in the clutch for a name. Oh my God, it's time. You got to see that trailer if you haven't seen it. Um, you know, I am just so thankful for Ryan Murphy for putting Angela Bassett where she needs to be put and giving her her shine so these folk can see what she all about. Because she always been that. She always, always. been that. Always. always been that. Okay? Always. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna go on a tangent. Right about Angela we, Bassett because we don't play about that woman. We, we don't do play about that woman. Amen. Royalty, royalty, <laughs> royalty. For real. All right, trailer for last night in Soho drop, starring the girl from um, Anya Taylor Joy from the Queen's Gambit split. Uh, new New Mutants. Mm -hmm. Um. And the director of it is um, Edgar Wright, who made Scott Pilgrim and Shaun okay. of the Dead and Baby Driver, I think. Okay, um, okay, okay. I couldn't tell you what the hell the movie is about. It's a lot of lights. It's a lot of pretty lights. It reminded mm -hmm. me of, uh, the trailer reminded me of Black Swan after mm -hmm. Old Girl started going crazy. Okay, okay. And that's what it reminded me of. Just so. a very distorted, very bright, yeah. just a lot going on. <laughs> yes, and I mean, it wasn't like that the whole time, but it was just like, I don't know what the hell this is, but it looks interesting. So, yeah. I mean, I would watch it because I yeah. like Edgar Wright. I like his work. Mm -hmm. I, I like what he does. Um, let's see, what else? The trailer for Tomorrow War Drop, starring Chris Pratt. Everybody should know who Chris Pratt is. If you don't know, he is Star Lord and Guardians of the Galaxy, among other things. What's that right. show he was on? Not Parks and Rec. Uh, not, I believe he was on Parks and Rec, but uh, he definitely was on The Office. 
Oh, it's the uh, what's no, that's Chris Pratt. That's the other one. Oh, that's the other one. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that's uh, J- C- Ryan Kransky from the Crying the Quiet Place Man. <laughs> Is it Ryan Kransky? John Kransky? The Kransky know. guy. Who's oh, married to Emily oh, Blunt? White man. He's married to <laughs> Emily Blunt. <laughs> I don't mean on the white man. <laughs> <laughs> Because when I was doing this, I was like from the office. I'm like, that is not him. He was not on the damn office. That was the other guy. That was the other guy. I swear Chris Pratt was on the office, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> and it premieres on He's Amazon Prime. He's definitely on Rec, though. <laughs> okay, that's the one. He That's where he got his start. Yeah. It premieres on Amazon Prime on July 2nd. And the trailer looks pretty good. It's a couple mm-hmm. of other people in the movie, too, that I like. Actresses or whatever. Um, Amazon bought MGM for $8 million, billion, Sorry. Billion dollars. Right. Um, if you don't know, some of MGM's works um, include 007, Shark Tank, the Rocky franchise, including Creed, um, Hands Made Tale. And I just threw RoboCop in there because we from Detroit. So, yeah, I mean, um, that is going to be really interesting because, you know, they've been sitting on the new 007 movie for quite some time. So maybe it's going to come to Netflix (coughs) exclusively um, or something like that. You know, you never know. Is it with Daniel Craig or is like I know for a long time that they kept it was it kept being this conversation about a black bond, you know, at one point in time. Yeah, but you know, the movie been made for like two years, but oh. pandemic pushed it back with Daniel Craig, the new one. Right. But they kept pushing it back because of the pandemic. And then they said it might go exclusively to Paramount Plus. But who knows what's going to happen now because MGM has been acquired by Amazon Prime. Wow. And they own the rights to all the 007 movies. Gee. So. Who knows what's going to happen now with, with the next Creed movie even. You know, maybe it'll go exclusively to Netflix, I mean, to Amazon, um, uh, Amazon Prime. So I don't know what's going to happen. It's a lot of conver- uh, it's a lot of Google Hangout and meetings happening. <laughs> 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 a lot of Zoom calls. <laughs> yeah, man. That 007 movie been sitting on the floor for a long time. And I don't know why I always think like when a movie is not in our possession, like our viewing that is sitting on the flow yeah i know when the cuts they go i don't need they only it's digital files they're not throwing them on the flow no right more. yeah but but that's just always what i but figuratively and, yeah and <laughs> and for sure <laughs> oh yeah but the, oh yeah tanya you're right it is supposed to because the girl is supposed to be the like is he passing the torch to her in the movie yes okay yes yes this is true 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 and that's probably why i mentioned that because i forgot all about that that's that's why i mentioned that because i was like hold on is it i thought it was supposed to be about some like black character black 007 something like that and that's exactly what it is because that was a big deal that was a big deal okay so she takes on his okay okay all right, that's sick. I'm, I'm Promotion. excited. Promotion. She got promoted. Moving <laughs> on up. Goes to the double O seven. <laughs> she ain't a double O five. I don't know how that works. You know, right. In my six stuff, I don't know how it works. Man, it just I just know what I know from Killing Eve and double O seven. Oh, man. Okay. There was a trailer that dropped for Werewolves Within starring Sam Richardson from Detroiters and Promising Young Woman and Kimmy Schmidt. Y'all know Kimmy Schmidt. Yeah, we know Kimmy Schmidt. Um, it looks like it's gonna, it remind me of that uh, movie, that horror movie, uh, The Dead Don't Die. Like, it looked like it's gonna be dry ass humor or whatever. Because mm-hmm. um, that's how, like, The Dead Don't Die was. Like, it was, like, super dry. But it was a little bit funny. I kind of liked it a little bit, but um, like this is comical version of a zombie apocalypse, but yeah. it's only like a comical version of like werewolf is among us and killing us and mm. blah, blah, blah. so People it looks make funny as fun of stuff like that, but that shit ain't funny. Well, sh- not if it's happening to you, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> right. It definitely is not. Trailer looks pretty good. Um, let's see. Now, what is this? Did you know this? Have you heard about this? Have you read about this? There is a Legends of the Hidden Temple coming to the CW Network, and it's for the adults. And you can actually sign up to participate. Um, I would have. No, like, I was thinking, like, when you you didn't do it, when you sent that, I did not. 
when you sent that, I was like, should I do this? Yes. And I know everything Emmy was telling me I should, and I, I didn't. You can still do it, I think. I might sign. I'm gonna sign up. I'm gonna I'm I'm see what it's about. I'm gonna see what it's about. Baby, if I was a little bit athletic, if I was a little bit, not a little bit, because I ain't even a little bit. Oh, also, no, man. I think that I shit used to scare me. So I don't know, like walking through that temple. When you, know? you said that, I could not <laughs> stop laughing. Did you remember how they used to just jump out, bruh, bruh? They you. Used- so y'all, if you don't know, if you've never seen Legends of the Hidden Temple, Legends of the Hidden Temple is a Nickelodeon classic. Like, um, what would you do? You Guts, know, good, um, right? Wild and crazy kids, mm-hmm. um, all of those shows. And basically, it was these kids with different like teams, and they would answer trivia questions and do physical challenges. And then at the end, they have to go through the temples to find the idol, well, to find the tokens so they can get the idol so they can win the prizes. And if you get caught by one of the guards, then you're out and you get three chances. And if you're caught by all three guards that's in there before you get all three tokens, then you can't win the idol. But the guards aren't just like in the room standing there. It's like you're basically walking through a fucking honey house and they jump out on you. And they could be anywhere. In fact, like sometimes I felt like how like they know you there so how are you supposed to get around them uh, you can't you just can't go in that room like if you go in the wrong room three times you just you messed up before you get man, to the final token man. it is true like don't go in that room don't go in that room oh, <laughs> because i think we could see them they couldn't see them right because they we can't see, the see them no, no 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 yeah exactly so oh my god they they game used to have my that show used to have my heart like <laughs> the palpitations oh the palpitations. <laughs> the pow pals. Thank you, Devin, for speaking on the beautiful Halloween Funko yes. or horror Funko Pops that I have back here. Yes. yes. Hey, halfway you. there. I can't believe it. Yes, halfway. All right. Let's see. Mr. Big will be turning returning in the new Sex in the City movie. If you didn't know, now you know. Congratulations to him. Mm-hmm. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, best known for playing Pietro in Age of Ultron, his character was killed in that movie. And as you know, if you don't know, maybe you do know in WandaVision, Evan Peters play his uh Pietro that was featured in the Days of Future Past, X-Men, whatever. Mm-hmm. He has been chosen to star in um the Marvel film Craven. Uh it's a Spider-Man villain. Um, and it will be a standalone film. As I told you prior, I do not research these characters. I go to the movie theater and let the origin story speak for itself. Whatever I don't know, I have friends who will fill it in. Pretty much. All right. So <laughs> Sonic 2 plot has been leaked and, and there is, is is tellings that Knuckles will be in the next next movie. Finally. So, dang. I, I mean, know. you act like it's 100 movies. Man, they was trying to haul knuckles. It's only one movie, but still, something <laughs> like knuckles wasn't. Knuckles wasn't there. Knuckles was there, but oh okay, we'll, we'll let knuckles. Yeah, let knuckles <laughs> uh, Henry Cavill is in talks to reboot the Highlander series. That was not a film that I really was into when I was Highlander. Kid. Highlander. It's about the man who can travel in time or something like that and he had a sword and a horse okay okay that's, yeah that's yeah, yeah. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's all coming our dads back. liked it we yes kids. yes I was like, <laughs> that is what my dad definitely <laughs> you love highlander i hope that uh uh synopsis did it justice then <laughs> yeah a man with a knife and a sword who can travel i mean i said a knife and a sword a man with a sword and a horse who can travel in time or something. I that is probably not it. That is probably not. That's probably not it. Um, so some bad news or good news or just interesting news. The Powerpuff Girl series has been put on hold as they reshoot the pilot episode. No, bad news. I was excited for that. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm glad that that was not the wrong not Well, I mean, I know it's not perfect, but that's a Chevy but who steak. Is? That's a Chevy <laughs> steak on it. Yeah. Oops, I'm opening the wrong stuff up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. 
Okay, so we reshooting Powerpuff Girls. Mm -hmm. Lord, it was probably terrible. That's what I keep thinking. Like, it was yeah. probably trash. That's what I'm though. thinking now. We're like, but maybe so it was trash. for the best. Maybe it was for the best. Because <laughs> they don't stop it for no reason. <laughs> they say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is, what is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? This ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. Back to the drawing board, you go. <laughs> Oh man! How oh, see, I didn't know. Oh, that. sorry. What you didn't know? What? Uh, oh, and uh, Je Jevin just said uh, that Knuckles didn't show up until Sonic Three. So yeah, I didn't want to say that because I thought it was two, but I didn't. But maybe it's just because I really love Knuckles, and everybody just really like, love Knuckles. I, I don't. I, yeah, that. maybe it's just my love for Knuckles. Because <laughs> Tails was in two, I think, and then Knuckles came yeah, in three. That is true. Um. Three okay. Howard University will name the fine College of Fine Arts after Chadwick Boseman. Oh, kind of kind of forever, forever. Uh, Johnny Knoxville thought we needed to know this information, but this will be his last Jackass movie, the Jackass movie that we didn't know was coming. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> I mean, how right. long can you abuse yourself? Now, come like on, that? Now. I will say for real because what I will say, and I am a huge Jackass fan. I thought the last Jackass was the last Jackass, <laughs> and so to hear this, it is kind of like nobody. Hey, y'all, this is the last Jackass, <laughs> like, and I won't be in the next one because they booked us for more. They booked us for more, they but you are correct. Like, unless they are bringing a new set of talent, which sounds so terrible as well, because it's like, again, who signs up to destroy their lives the way that they do? I mean, and continue to do it for and a long period of time, like in your life, like yo, the, the amount of broken and sprained and just beaten, battered parts of like, the, I'm sorry, like. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say that. But for real, they what? they could have hurt themselves a lot. He got red dreads. What? I thought that was like the bad Sonic, right? Is it? No, that's Knuckles. Oh, that's Knuckles. <laughs> oh, it is Knuckles. Yeah, it is another Knuckles. guy. I think he's black. Oh yeah, black with the okay, 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 okay. That was random. Uh, Lindsay Lohan will star in a Netflix rom com about a spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> what was I trying to write here? <laughs> I said about a spoiled hotel. <laughs> uh, it's a no. hotel. Yeah, right? but no, no, she's not playing a spoiled hotel. Yeah, but she works <laughs> kind of, uh, like her parents. She, I think she's hotel. like a uh, Paris Hilton type. Yeah. Because I put as a spoiled hotel and an heiress <laughs> with <Hotel>. amnesia. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you wrote that with amnesia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan will not be playing a hotel who's spoiled and an heiress <laughs> with amnesia. She will be playing a spoiled hotel heiress with amnesia. Yeah, y'all. I wrote that like that. That's it. Oh, man, this is some great news. There will be an Evil Dead sequel called Evil Dead Rise that will going be going straight to HBO Max, produced by Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi, starring Alyssa Sutherland from Vikings. Mm. I'm excited about that and quite happy about that. Um, did anybody see the trailer for M. Night Shyamalan's Old today? It's still... Doesn't tell me much. <laughs> Bro, I'm still stuck on the first trailer. So, uh, uh. <laughs> well, yeah, it comes out on July 3rd. Check that trailer out, everyone. It's like old people getting older fast and young people getting grown up fast and just weird shit happening. I don't, I don't know. It's M. Night Shyamalan. So, it's not going right. to be what you signed up for and it's probably going to piss you off in the end. <laughs> Is one thing you do know, that's what you are guaranteed to experience. There is a Garbage Pal television series in the works at HBO Mac with uh, Danny McBride, the actor's production company. Hmm. I don't know if I could watch that. I used to be grossed out by those cards. I still am. Like, like 
I mean, it's like a train wreck that you can't stop looking at. So, like, if you get a pack or you have somebody who has some, you have to look at all of them. You do. And you, you just do. be looking at, you be looking at them so, like, oh, my God. Like, you literally, oh, like, that is them. Uh, But uh, I don't know if I could watch a show with those characters in it because it's so damn nasty. I don't know if I could watch that. Nah, I agree. I agree. It reminds me of that jelly bean game. Like where like one jelly bean could be a good tasting one and the other one is like throw up like uh. Yeah, like just eating jelly bellies in general. It's like <laughs> it's fun and it's cool, but like do I want to put myself through it? Like no. <laughs> Do I want to put myself through that? That's the Period. question. That's no, the real that, question. That is perfect. <laughs> Bean boozled, yeah. Yeah, bean, don't bean boozle me because I'm don't not I'm not being bean boozle. I've never played that game because Man. I can't eat a damn jelly I never belly will. popcorn flavor. I, I, I can't ne- eat that. I never will play that game again. I mean, if I ever play that game again, you're gonna have to run me some money because if I eat grass, and that's <laughs> not even the worst, it's the throw up one because it really <laughs> taste like everybody probably is thrown up in their mouth like <laughs> obviously like it's come out your throat so you've tasted throw up and it tastes like throw up and it's nasty as hell that's funny so that's funny yeah I'm, i have no intentions on ever 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 playing that game because i can't eat like a toothpaste jelly belly it's, uh, it's, it, it's it's gross it's it's nasty i mean it's easy to get through in terms of like uh, compared to a throw up <laughs> So I have one more piece of movie news and then we can get into this great film that we watched this yes. week. Yes. Uh I'm trying to okay. Let me get it together. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Sorry everyone. Travante Rhodes from Moonlight will play Mike Tyson in a Hulu series. This was just dropped like an hour ago. This yeah, literally. Hour. I I I'm about to say, "Ooh, I know about this movie too." <laughs> You know I knew about this movie news. <laughs> oh man! And before we um end movie news, uh, I just wanted to you know talk about something that was going on online. Rotten Tomatoes, you know they do their little like movie battles this month or week. It was Disney movie, so it ended up being the top ended up being Little Mermaid versus Beauty and the Beast. So I want to know what movie would y'all choose? I chose Lion King because mm-hmm. I was a late in life from Beauty and the Beast. I saw it like in 2019. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It still, it still was amazing. Bruh. It was it's amazing. Just, it's, it's a hard, it's a hard, deci- that's a hard decision. It's hard when it breaks down like to those films and it's just like, what? Like you want me to choose between bruh. I, mm. I chose Lion King. It was, it was easy I me. think I gotta go with Lion King as well, just because. Oh man, but beauty and the beast. <laughs> you know, like Beauty and the Beast gave me what I loved from Cinderella, like in just I, I don't. Mm, mm. I think I have to go Lion King as well, but dang, I want. I, I think on a different day, I could mess around and pick Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I understand. I understand. So, guys, that is the end of movie news. Yeah. I don't know. I had to put that little extra on there. I like it. I like it. I like it. You might have to have like different versions of movie news, <laughs> like your, your standard, and then like your more jazzed up version. Maybe like a like a hip hop version, like movie, <laughs> movie, movie news, movie the news. movie news that make you move, movie, movie news, movie, <laughs> <laughs> movie news. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm so glad this is recorded. <laughs> I yeah. don't have to remember that. You feel me? <laughs> right. <laughs> just go back. You just go back. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh man. So yeah, we watched Crazy Rich Ages. We still on our wedding theme for the month of May, you know? It's been very rewarding. I it must has. say for myself. It has. Like it put a lot of things that perspective for me, you know, like been thinking about love a lot more than usual. No, I have not. 
<laughs> like, you're like totally opposite for me. <laughs> oh, I just thought. <laughs> what has it been doing for you? Like, I, I just think that watching a film, a film with a wedding in it can be about absolutely anything. So it has literally been allowing for us to talk about a lot of different things. True. Talk True. about sexism, talk about um, coming out, talking yeah. about cultural differences and um, not accepting people because mm -hmm. they don't meet your standards. Yeah. Even though these films, every film that we have watched has been about a wedding or a proposal or a marriage, whether the, the wedding happened or not, those, what I'm realizing about that genre or sub genre yeah. of film is that you literally can wrap it up in anything. Like anything anything, anything yeah. can be wrapped up in it and you can tell a compelling story. For Whether sure. you like the movie or not, mm -hmm. it can literally, you can literally write a script um, and put a wedding in there and then you can use that as the underlay for the overplay to talk about so many other things. Yeah, and which I think like Crazy Rich Asians, they did a really great job of doing that. Um, this movie came out in 2018. Of course, it's like a, I would say it has kind of like a romantic comedy vibe to it, but not completely. Like it's not completely there for the most part. Like what people like to label a chick flick, I will give this a chick flick. So, um, this is a contemporary romantic comedy based on a, uh, global bestseller, and it follows a native New Yorker, Rachel Chu, to uh, Singapore to meet her boyfriend's family. Um, directed by John M. Chu, writers Peter Chiarelli, Chiarelli, Adele Lim, and Kevin Kwam. And starring um, Contis Wu, Henry Golding, and Michelle Yeo. Yeo. Not, sorry. Sorry, girl. Sorry, Michelle, girl. But, um, yeah. I, I, I really, man, I... First off top, like I know this is something we usually talk about at the end, but I just fucking love this movie. <laughs> yeah, I this movie is like it's great, it's over the top. Like, don't the a hey, literally you talking about a movie that is properly titled, like yeah, yeah, crazy rich Asians, you know. I I it was properly titled because throughout this film. That is what you would constantly repeat out loud. Like, that crazy as hell. God <laughs> damn, they rich. Like, <laughs> like shit. <laughs> um, so from the beginning of the movie, um, you know, so you just meet this woman. She, you know, doing her job. She goes and meets up with her boyfriend. You thinking nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just a couple. And from jump. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Opening scene. The opening scene is probably one of the best scenes in the movie. I mm. forgot all about it. Just that mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. When the mom, you know, she comes to London. I think they were in London and they um, soaking wet in the rain and they come in to the hotel and they tell the front desk men that they have a room in the hotel and he don't even look at the, the books or anything. He just nothing. tells her there's nothing. We're sold out. We booked. And then no, the manager funny. comes out and she's like, it must be a mistake. I'm booked in because not only did she say she was booked there, but she said she was booked in the best room there. So they was like, no, that's not true. You couldn't like, you must be mistaken. Yeah, it like people off the street not just gonna come in with this information. So, right, like right. But no, no, she was. And then he basically was rude and said, You need to go find a place to stay in Chinatown. So then she said, well, let me call my husband. Can I use the phone? He did not let her use the phone. She had to go back out in the rain with her kids and all her luggage. Louis Vuitton luggage, mind you. Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. <laughs> Again, just not giving you like off the street bum vibes. Right, <laughs> but they're so um, in their own prejudice that they don't even pay attention to it they didn't even look at them they didn't even yeah, check. They saw through them like yeah they didn't even look at them they didn't even pay him no attention posh call her husband husband call old dude old dude come downstairs basically say this is my oldest friend she the new owner of the hotel them people's face drop 
Then they started playing the Asian version of money. That's what I want. And that shit is yes. hard as it hell. Hit, like, hit. that shit is that hard as hit. hell. That <laughs> It hit y'all. It hit like go look. Li- you hey, we ain't talked about soundtracks in a minute. Go listen to this. Soundtrack. Yeah, they actually had and because all them songs I knew. I'm like, look how they shine for you. I'm jamming, and it was all yellow and in a whole nother language. I'm sitting there jamming, like I'm sitting there jamming. <laughs> sitting there jamming no, for real. No, like that. B- a really good opening, a really great, memorable opening. Like, I, I mean, one of my favorite, you know, what's, what's my favorite word, bitch? Like, I said that a lot during this film. <laughs> bitch. Well, Eleanor was a, she was a. Ooh, she was a bitch. Ooh, she was just like that. Mm. It's like how. Okay, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's get into it. Let's just get into it. This movie, this movie, the reason why I never rewatched it is because it was so much, like too much, like, and it would happen in these moments where it was like things were so going so great, and then it's like pow, pow, jab, stab, pow. Tap stab for real, <laughs> but for real though, like it's just so many moments. Just like you said, you think it's just ah, uh, okay, we get into a better place, and then it's just it like, is like, no, actually, <laughs> no, we're not. Like, oh my god, <laughs> so you got <laughs> the opening scene where you meet this um young, well, not young, but uh, Asian mother having to pull rank on these white dudes who are obviously racist Mm -hmm. um and then you fast forward into a future where you see another asian woman doing her job or whatever this is rachel she got a boyfriend he seemed a little bit cheap uh a little frugal yeah a little frugal a little frugal then it, it goes into like this whole big like this other Asian woman see him kissing this girl. She take a picture, and then it remind me if, if coming to America has social media. For real, <laughs> for real, for real. Like the like it's the scene in the gym, uh, in the move the basketball, in, in the basketball where, like, where it's like you are Prince Hakeem. Like what are you talking about? Like don't make me don't make me pull like just pull rank. Like let me bow down. You are a prince. You are royalty. Like. Right. Right. No, for real though. And then you think that these conversations are happening over days. You come back, he ain't even finished his dessert, and his mama calling him. His mama asking him about the girl he bringing to the wedding. Like, who is this? Who is this woman? Hoppo, who is this woman? (laughs) And I'm like, oh shit, this shit is like this is uh this is real. Like, oh, this is real. Like, you know how they say you never know who somebody is, you never know who you're talking to, you never know who you're dealing with. So you yeah. need to treat people with kindness and mm-hmm. you need to be good to people because you really never know. It is like, so reflective of that very first scene, that opening scene where it's like, you don't know, baby girl. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. No, and I and I, I think that is so I think unfair. he even has forgotten because. It wasn't until he's on the phone with his mommy, he see the women walking out there. He's the girl who took the picture of him. He's like, oh, damn. Yeah, like, mm, I forgot. I forgot. I Just can't be out quick. here. You know, like, I'm on my dri- I can't be on my drizzy shit. I got to be low key. I got <laughs> to be low key with it. I can't be out in the hotel lobby with you. Like- <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, she he asked her to go. She accepts immediately. Of course. That's without thought. But You know, I'm trying to figure out how to say this because mm-hmm. it's like they, they, you know, she meet up with her mom. You you see her mom. You see her mom. She's talking to her mom. She basically warning her like, yeah, if you want to go, that's cool and all. But, you know, you're a foreigner to them. Yeah. And you may not be expecting the warm welcome that you think you're gonna get mm-hmm. you know you don't know his family and they real finicky mm-hmm. over there you know about foreigners and even yep. though we all look the same you know a little bit of the language 
you know, I've tried to steep as many of the traditions in you that I could, they're still going to look at you like a foreigner. But you know, go on, girl. That's your man. You want to go. Come you need on, to girl. see his family. So go ahead and do your thing. Get to the airport. <sighs> now, see, this is the part where it was like, Because we're we're finding all of this out together. If you haven't read the book, oh yeah, you know? if you haven't read the book, you you have. I mean, look. As much as I say that this movie title goes with the film, you don't get it until you get it. Yeah, you really don't. When you got it, <laughs> like, and I mean, even that scene didn't do it justice until no, for, not for real. Until like she goes to the house, like until she goes to the house, I would have been throwing up. Um, but you know, the, the first class lady come up to him, tell him, you know, we taking your stuff. She's like, no, nah, man, what did you, you know, yeah. he didn't tell her that. Yeah. She yeah. Like, they're getting class. out of the car service and it's like, they're taking their bags and she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We not rich. What you doing? This is for rich what people. The hell? Why are you? She's like, we can't afford this. We got rent next month. I know mm -hmm. we're going to visit your family. I know things, you know, but God damn. And he just kind of on some baby. He he's not even on no like baby. I got this. He's he just like go with it. He just said, just go with it. Just go with it. Like he won the lottery or something. You know, like you know, when people come into money and they try to be secretive about it, and then they be just trying to act like I got money. That's how we be. You know what I'm saying? Let me hit the bill. Like that's the way he he was on some shit like that. And when but they, I would have been like, come, like I, I don't know. I would have had to stop. Be like, hold up, what is yeah. going on? Like for real? Yeah, like you, like you really need to tell me what's happening because i'm and not but, just about to go with it but you know but that's I, love that's and that's what i was just about to say it really attests to like the stage of love that they were in like that that i, I don't want to give them puppy love because i really don't know how long they have been dating but it, it i want to say they they're insinuating maybe it's been like two maybe even three years they've been together something like like a very new relationship but long enough to be like yo i think this i trust you i trust you like this you you might be the one for me and so um she goes with it you know what i'm saying she she go with it what up gft radio in the building what's up what's up so yeah like she goes with it and they, you know, you do your regular thing, you, you, her luggage, you know, she looking back at the luggage, like who the hell are these people? Okay. You know, I do know of international flights that, you know, you, you can't go cheap on international flights for real. Like, but, I mean, sh they were first class. On they were international first class. Flight. Yeah. So it's going to be nice. Like I, I believe that most international airlines like they're gonna be nice right most part for the most part right i mean it, it, like i don't know <laughs> yeah, I, have, I guess i have no idea either i'm just kind of huh i but, think it could it could be like how when, when they you, was coming back they didn't have none be, of those amenities that is true they had to sit in the seat that was the regulars <laughs> okay so <laughs> yeah well I, I guess that's the point i'm trying to make the expensive part is nice <laughs> but the, lay down but the non-expensive part would feel like a spirit flight because you got to be on that bitch for so long you know what i'm saying <laughs> right right that, i guess that's why i assumed it like i had 14 hours in a in a, in a regular airline seat I don't want to do that. I don't want to no, do that. Man. Like a bus. They're like a bus. Yeah. That's like what I call Airbus. Like Good old <laughs> Airbus. Anyways, anyways, we can't even get past the damn floor line. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to be here until 11. Okay, so let's get to the, 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 the nitty gritty of this scene because this scene is very important. Yes. I'm still off the fact that he not being forthright with her. He telling her what he wants to tell her in his own way that he wants to tell her without telling her everything. And, you know, he starts to tell her about his si cousins, I think, or siblings. I can't remember if those are his siblings or his cousins. I think he's talking about his cousins because he it's, it's only his sister, right? 
He only has his sister, right? Yeah, I think so. He might have had a brother, but see, that's where I got lost. It was too many of them. And oh, I it was got so lost many of them. And, and the way that, that they treat family, it's like and you think they all all they they all grew up in they you would all think you was brother think and sister. They weren't, yeah, yeah, like, but <laughs> but they're they're they cousins and some of them friends and some of yeah, them. Yeah, like right. it's, it's just like, like what? It's, it's a lot of y'all, and I'm I'm getting lost in the sauce. For sure, for sure. But you know, he started <laughs> telling them about his family you know giving him her the rundown but he really still never told her how much he was worth and his stake mm -hmm. in all of this you know what i'm saying so he kind of left her to the wolves and that's what kind of annoyed me about his characters because he kind of left her to the woods because he wanted to see what she was gonna do because he was testing her, even though he said he wasn't testing her, because that's why she ended up being at the wedding in the first place. Because at the end of the day, you know what you got, you know your money, you know what's at stake for you. So you brought her because you think she's the only girl that you've dated or talked to in America that sees past all this superficial mm -hmm. and will pretty much accept whatever you put to her, regardless to what the stakes are, and be okay with it. Yep. But I didn't like that he was feeding it to her in very small doses. Yeah. Because that's yeah. what made it so much harder for her Correct. when she got there and she had Correct. to deal with it. Correct. Like, and, 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 and with though, and just like you said, with those small doses and not giving enough in, if you're going to dose, if you're going to put the dosage out so small, then you need to be giving as much, as much information as you can and it like at the lowest like intensity because to be perfectly honest when you're freaking y'all are millionaires like i don't think it's not a simple way to explain that because eventually she has to learn that things that finance wise and, and financial wise and like status wise you're up there like up and stuck Cause right, right. It, right. it ain't going nowhere. It's not no. Oh, it, my money's in the stock exchange or like my, uh, like yeah, my they're dad wealthy. Has, they're not. Yeah, yeah. My dad rich. has a really good job, and it's just my dad. Like, no, they got long money. That long money long. Money. long that money, money long. Just like the mama said, like we play for the long game. We don't play. We, ain't, we ain't, that love shit. All that love shit in the right now. We we looking legacy, baby. Like. I mean, we need our story needs to be continuously told. Like it don't stop here. It don't stop here. <laughs> right. So then they get there and she just blown away by Singapore itself. Yeah, because it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. You get there, the, she find beautiful. out he's the best man. You know, you see his wife and you're like, oh, she looks like she's pretty cool. I mean, his fiance, you see, yeah. you know, she looks like she's pretty cool. They go on this wonderful day of trying um street food and you know laughing and joking and talking yeah now yeah. my question to you is again you that think... small dosage like mm -hmm, that small mm -hmm, dosage. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. and my question to you is do you think that that day that first day in singapore gave rachel a false sense security of what his the rest of his family would have been like or would yes. be like yes clear cut yes and you want to know why because that's exactly how i felt <laughs> <laughs> i mean look you know I, i've watched the youtube videos and i've heard about it the it sounds like the japanese and the, or asian street food is cheap it's cheap bro so i think it would have been easy to splurge and it sounds like oh my money my family has a little money and i can do these things and i know a little bit and it's like you're having such a good time that you can't really focus on the fact that the way things are happening and the way people the pe way people are treating him because you're just feeling like oh he's home <laughs> right but not only that they stayed in the hotel but also i was saying on the level of how she was accepted oh totally. uh, yeah, i was just his... about to get to that we're okay you i just introduced you to the nicest people that you're gonna meet other than astrid uh, other than well, astrid. she already knew astrid she already knew Astrid. She already knew Astrid. So now I'm introducing you to new people who are just like, hugs. Yes, girl. Love you here. So happy you here. I'm, but then you got to remember too, like, I do think that they were, that couple was overall like a good 
couple and very like-minded, but I also think that they were just very excited about the fact that they were getting married. Cause like when you, you on a high, like that's a, that whole week, and stuff is just a, a complete high. So what is the bride? Bitch, I'm getting married. <laughs> Bitch, I'm getting married. I ain't got time to be hating on you. Like, <laughs> so but completely, yeah. yes. <laughs> so I, because when I watched it the second time, I was like, this is a lie. This, this is a lie. lie. And he set her up. Like, he set yeah. her up. But what was amazing about her is, you know, I kept wondering, like, that first so, you know, the first day they hang out with his, you know, his friend, his best friend and his fiance. Mm -hmm. The next day she go do her own thing and she go meet, see her friend and she basically spend the whole day with her. Yeah. So, you know, she still didn't really know who Nick was, what he was about because yeah. they went their separate ways that second day. Yeah. And that night was the night that she was about to meet his family and she doesn't realize First of all, it's messed up that she had to hear it from other people. Who, what she was walking into. What she was walking into. And if it wasn't for that, she would have she went in had. even worse than she did initially. Because come to find out, her friend, in my opinion, is Crazy Rich too. Yeah. But they don't well, even consider themselves anything in the eyes of the youngs. <laughs> <laughs> and that was wild to me. That was wild to me because like you, this was my, uh, this was my second first time watching it all out. But my, my second time seeing all of this and I felt the same exact way. I was like, yo, if she's flabbergasted by her homie, like she's going to shit her pants when she goes. <laughs> and on top of that, what old girl told her, what her friend told her, where it's like, oh, see, like, we cool. Like, we a little weird. We're a little odd. We're also not as rich as them. And our status is nowhere where they're, where they are, where they are. Um, uh, I think you need to prepare yourself. I, I think you need to be ready. And I don't you said know. You was going to go to her house looking like some bad, some bad. And, <laughs> That was funny. That was funny. That but was no, they funny. all clowned her. They, they all, all was like, you not her. wearing that. <laughs> baby girl and they're walking in there like a red light <laughs> walking in there like rudolph's nose <laughs> like stop it man <laughs> but for real i man she, if it wasn't for the homie no like, she would have been and, and kudos to the writing because that was a great way because i thought that that was so genius the way that they plugged that in because she needed that um uh, not necessarily Ally. Yeah, that ally. She yeah, needed an ally. She needed that ally because if she didn't have it, she really would have been up Shit's Creek. Like, yeah, she really where was she gonna go? And he was just gonna let her walk into that like that. And that's what. But see, that's what the part about the movie that was pissing me off, and it never really ever highlighted the fact of his wrong for not being forthright with her. And they made the mom the villain when, in actuality, the real villain here. Is Nick? <laughs> that might have to be the new segment. Who's the real villain? Yo, the real villain? <laughs> Hold on, what is it? The villain and the, the real, real, the real villain. villain. <laughs> no, it's the villain and the real villain. Yeah, the no. The villain is Nick. Low yeah, key. And, like, and 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 I think it's key. because she wouldn't have wanted to come. You know, I wouldn't have wanted to come. But, you know, I kept um, asking myself this question, like, after, you know, her friend helps her, after uh, Aquafina helps her, or mm -hmm. Ping Lang helps her get yeah. <laughs> her new outfit together, she dropping her off at this house that looked like the castle from Disney World, but better and bigger. Girl, I would have told her to turn this car around and take me home. Like, hey. what? What is it? What is this journey that we're taking? This is not a driveway. This is armed a guards. All of this, all of that. You know what I'm saying? They pulling up. It's like <laughs> a forest. Like it, it's like Lord, it was it's just it was some a lot. back some backwoods road where it's like it was a lot. It was no a lot. Street lights. Like it was a lot. So you know, they pull up. They get there. Um. And I kept saying, why is she so calm? How can she be calm? How can she be confident? How can she be not shitting bricks right now? 
Like, and where that, am I go getting in? Like, exactly. And that was another question that I was going to ask you. How do you think, why do you think Rachel wasn't as overwhelmed as most people would have been being thrust into a situation like that and literally looking at it happen and literally walking into this situation and not knowing and it's just getting like bigger and more overwhelming as you go i would say it's because of nick like her love and trust in nick i mean if you look over at him and he's like <laughs> it's gonna be all right just come with me you know i come meet him like you know i i, I feel like any it was something about him that just Nick would never just throw me into some bullshit. I mean, you saw when her when her snapping point was. It was once something was out of Nick's control, something that Nick had nothing to do with. He was the cause of, but the once Nick was out of control of that situation, she was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Now I'm fucking done. I can't do this no more. I, I don't want no parts because now y'all done crossed the line and I don't like that. And now he can't even save me? Okay. I can't, I can't be here. I can't be here. So I think because of Nick's charm and why everybody loves Nick, you know what I'm saying? Why he is the, the, the stud he is. She's like, I trust this man. So I know that he's not going to put me in nothing crazy. He's not going to like, yes, this is a, this is a lot, but because he's maintaining, I'll go with him. Well, you know what I thought it was? What? I thought about it like this. I think that w when you're dating someone, mm -hmm you try to present a version of yourself that's not real, that's not mm -hmm. true, that's not honest. And I think that the person that Rachel presumed Wanted herself to be, to be yeah. was exactly who she was. And she didn't feel like she had anything to hide or fear. So how could they not like me? How could oh, they not oh, accept me? That's a very good point too. And I didn't feel that she felt that until... She had got the like, you know, the 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 little pep in her step from her from Aquafina, like you that bitch, like and be that bitch. And, and I don't mean it like that. I just mean like in a mental way. Like no, for sure. Most like, people would have been overwhelmed by that situation because they find out this boy's family is rich and they've been lying to him about everything about themselves. Mm -hmm. I feel like as her as a person, she had nothing to hide or nothing to worry about or nothing that was going to pop up or she felt as if no skeletons in her closet. So from her, most yeah, people like they have be, no reason not to like me. Like and not yeah. only that, I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to gain. Yeah, I have yeah, nothing to take away from no, this. So true. She goes throughout the whole film talking about like, <laughs> I come from a single mother. I don't know much Chinese. I am. A, I'm a fucking American, bro. Like I don't have the education, but I work hard and I do the best I can. And I'm a kind person. I'm a sweet person. And I do right by people. But so let's what, just, let, to speak on that, though, hmm. she is the youngest professor at NYU who teaches economics. She was top in her class. It's not like this woman is just like a hobo. Right. Again, <laughs> again, we're not talking about bums off the street. She's we're made national news. She like, made history in her own right, in her own way. Period. And so, so it's she not had, like she, she a bum. She had a lot of unsaid confidence as well. Yes. She had a lot of unsaid confidence that I think that that's the moment I'm talking about where Aquafina gave her like, don't forget who you are. And now you need to show, like somebody needs to show up and show out and you're the one. You're going to have to gain your respect. You're going to have to earn your respect. Right. Like don't let them... For make you forget who you are. Yes. Because that's what the manipulation was. Because when she finally met her mom. <laughs> I'm mm. sorry. Because it was the most awkward. <laughs> like she went in from jump. Like jump! went in from jump. Like her mama didn't. His mama did not let up. Like every scene with her in it was just like. Foot on neck. But not only, like, just stressful as hell. Like, that woman was so mean to her. She was so mean. And, of course, the one moment you think that she's just going to, like, okay, I'm, I'm going to pull up off you. Oh, she literally I, pushed her down the stairs. I was okay? like. She, she pushed that woman down the stairs like, and told her she would never be enough. 
I'm like, is she about to kill her? <laughs> she thought she was about to kill her too. I was like, is she about to like I was like, I don't remember this part. I don't remember nobody about to die. Like, did she about to push her? And, and like they, oh my god, again, directors, writer, just beautiful. Like the way, I mean, I feel like she told me I wasn't gonna be never be enough when she t- <laughs> bruh. I bruh. feel like every time that lady was talking to her, she was talking to me. That's how she that's, that's how, how good, good she played that's that how game, good. sir. Like, I said, stop talking about me. I'm, I'm American. I, I, you know what? I was the complete opposite. I wish she was talking about me. So I'd be like, bitch. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I'm calling my mama. <laughs> <laughs> You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm telling like, your mom. I mean, at some point, I was like, damn, like, no fucking shame in your game. You just gonna, like, break this girl down in front of this man so he can see that she is not the that way you right. know. That's a generational curse in a family. Oh, yeah. And I say that because that's what her mom, basically, she is Rachel. Yes. She is Rachel. Yes. An aspiring lawyer who met another inspiring lawyer while they were studying in the States. He brought her back home and she had to go through the same thing. And she, because she went in it, she didn't want to break the tradition. She yep. wanted to break her in just like she was broke in and tell mm-hmm. her that you can't be a part of this because I still, still don't feel a part of it. I yep. had to break my neck, bust my bones, do all of this. And for the longest time while I was watching a movie, I was wondering to myself, I wonder if the husband and her are even still in love because obviously what he loved about her, she is not that anymore. He's not. So She's I not. wonder if he works as hard as he does now because he doesn't want to be bothered with her. I mean, bruh man never showed up. Never. We never saw his daddy. We bruh never man saw was his daddy. Never not one time. There. Never there. Like, what? It's just like what we said before we started when we were talking offline. Like, marriage is nothing about love, dog. Like... <laughs> And when you when you have to marry into a family like that, it quickly turns from love to a transaction because you have to do so much other stuff to build and keep so much other stuff going. Yep. Yep. Completely. Completely. So, yes, constantly through that film, you are reminded a lot that uh, we don't we don't marry for love. We don't bring fam- we don't combine families and uh continue this family legacy. Yes. At, it's not that's about That's exactly that. what that movie was about and that's why when the cousin said what he said about Rachel like you really think that this going yeah, they love each other whatever, but your dad would not have granted said okay to that if his fiance wasn't father didn't own one of the biggest blah blah blahs in the blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, you know, what does she have to offer? What does she bring to the table? Absolutely nothing. And you can say as much as you want to say, but she can't, it don't matter what she do. She can't never repay him for any of the things that he going to do for her. No, I mean, not in a monetary sense. And if they're living in a monetary sense where money is the value and, and tradition and and history and all of that kind of stuff is where they place, they value love is an afterthought. You know, mm-hmm. but it's mm-hmm. interesting that her and her husband were that. And then you have Astrid and her husband who were also a representation of that. And, you know, how basically you can look at their relationship and say, this is why you don't want to marry out of what we, you know, what we yeah. consider to be. Yeah. What you should be doing, because this is what will eventually happen. Yeah. They will never feel like they're enough. And then they will lash out at you. And I just feel so bad for Asher because she was just a sweetheart. I and she mean, could have been the biggest bitch. I mean, for real, you're talking about somebody that like you see her and I'm like, oh, my God, is she baby bitch? Like, who is she? Like, but is that's she- the problem. Everybody thinks she is. So they yep. treat her as such. And she ain't like that and she get a bad rap because of how she is because of what she can do and because she's a woman doing it you know what i'm saying great writing and great way of like you know because i'm like why is she hiding the stuff like if she got the money but i'm like oh she must be on the other end like i was thinking like and it didn't click to me like 
oh no, like she's the sister. She got guap. He's the poor, poor one. But not, but that's the thing. That was so messed up because she loved that man. She loved him through and through, but he didn't love himself. He didn't love himself and he blamed her for the way he saw himself. Yep. And he could never get over the fact she didn't want, she looked at him and she worshiped the ground he walked on. Whatever she really he wanted her to do, she would have done it. But because of her namesake and her status, even though she didn't care because she married you, you know, he treated her a certain way and always made things be a certain, I felt so bad for her. I just really I did. did. I felt so I'm bad. very proud of her for standing up for herself. Yeah, and telling and him she man. made the decision that she made. Like, I can't make you the man that you need to be. And I can't, I cannot be the one that tells you, hey man, like but you see, the man. <laughs> he was verbally verbally abusing himself and manipulating her to be a meek woman when Ooh. she shouldn't have had to be. Oh, yes straight gaslight like yes he gaslit her to make her feel bad about being who she was and that's why she couldn't fully be who she was mm -hmm. when he should have empowered her which would in turn empowered him because she would have helped him in any way he needed help yeah she did help him in any way he needed help their <laughs> lives were separate because he wanted them to be separate because he had something to prove to her and her family but she yep. didn't care about any of that she didn't at all. And even in cheating, he tried to manipulate her. Even it will gaslight her. Even in that moment, he tried to gaslight her. In that part where he like, stood yeah, behind her. Affair. Exactly. But I mean, what is she supposed to do? You know, you really want her to make a scene right now? This is y'all lives at stake. And at the end of the day, it is. Yeah. How can you do that to her? Because she thinks about more than just but you know that's what the mama said y'all be thinking about the moment i'm thinking about the bigger picture here but not only that the day he was leaving the house and he packing up and then he comes behind her and like literally almost basically whispering her ear you know this this is not my fault and mm -hmm. you know i'm not the only one to blame you're mm -hmm. still trying to gaslight her so yeah. she feels bad you, hey, that if you, you cheated know on her if you don't know what gaslighting is, if you've never heard the term before, watch that film and watch that part specifically. And that is gaslighting people. Like, bro, how you going to make me feel about some, bad about something that I don't feel bad about? And that you did. And that, that you, you did. made a choice to do. I you have always that. been your doting wife. I have always helped you. I took the backlash that I got from my family, but because I am that bitch, they can't do me like they do everybody else because I am that bitch. You know what I'm saying? But I took the backlash. I did what I had to do. We've been in a relationship. I adore you. We have a child together. I adore, because she adored he that man. Did. And the fact that she cheated, he cheated on her so bad, He she had to call her damn grandma and her grandma had to come to that damn wedding. That's how you know. That's how you know he messed that girl up. She had to call her damn grandma. Yeah, well, call her grandma who don't never come to nothing. No, but she was there for her. And that showed that even though these these are traditions and even though these things are what they are over time it's still family thing exactly we're still family and i'm still gonna be here for you and i'm still gonna look out for you and i'm still going to no matter what your decisions are i know her grandma probably gave her a mouthful probably she told her me. that's why i told you not to mess with that boy in the first place that's why we don't do stuff like that that because he is beneath you and he never especially with men because he was never gonna be able to get over the fact that you were this and, and that and it makes me believe that while I think a lot we wanted to call an Eleanor the villain, you know, and be mad at her and call her, cuss her out and call her all kind of bees and, you know, just be really disrespectful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> speaking for myself, um, I, I see why that's why traditions and rules are in place because it is to protect the legacies. It is to protect the world that we have all created because to think, you, to think of somebody with ill intentions to come in and want, you know, to ruin all of that. Look how easily it could be if we always date outside. 
I mean, because unless they had a prenup and there was a morality clause in that prenup that basically said if you cheat I mean, on me, that you don't get nothing out of this prenup. The 14 apartment she was talking about would have been his too. Right. When because when she said that, I said, he going to say where? Because see, that goes to show you how much she loved him. She said, okay, babe, you go ahead and buy this little apartment and I'm going to live there. We could yep. be living somewhere else because, yep. I mean, I got it like that. But I, I love you, it. baby. So we're going to go little stay in this little place that you bought because you so hell been on buying it because you just got to be the man. Ah. You just can't let me do what I yep. already can. I just bought earrings for $1.2 million and you bought this place. Man. <laughs> Oof. If, it, if, any, if any men in the chat, it, <laughs> do you really... Does is manhood that important to you that if you mm -hmm. married or dated a woman that was in a better, a much, and I'm not talking about a better, like, oh, she make a couple hundred thousand dollars more than you. I'm talking about she's making, she can spend 1.2 million on earrings mm. and mm. you can do whatever it is that you do and you make a living or maybe you don't. But is manhood or the version of manhood that he represented so important to you who are in the chat that you would literally allow for that to eat at you to the point where you think cheating on a woman that you know cannot compare monetarily the looks, motherhood and care of your child or the love that she has for you just to prove a point? It's, it's ridiculous because you are not comfortable enough in your own skin to just live in them one of them 14 apartment buildings to just let her buy you some 1.2 million dollar shoes to let her do what she would be doing because she would have been cashing that man out yes and then if you have any dreams or things that you love or hobbies like dude have at it because we are here just loving on each other yeah, because she it's, loved that man. And it's sad she that loved he him. She loved him. Because be she like led that. with love, it really, it really messed with her. It really messed up their their arrangement, their marriage. Yeah, it really <laughs> did. Which is like continuously pushing this narrative of that love and marriage really aren't they aren't the same. And I'm not saying that they don't go together, but they aren't the same. So love does not translate to marriage. When, when we're talking about romantic love, it doesn't translate over like that so and so I mean, you gotta work for it to to stay oh for sure for sure which is why they say marriage takes so much work it takes more than just like i love like i mean how many divorced couples can still say like divorcees can say i love them i no, love I can't her stand ass. But i can't stand them <laughs> we can never be together because we can't we just it just don't go it just don't work but i love them but i love him Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, she did. Okay. So to this point, I wouldn't feel like that, but I am also a mature man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what basically Astrid tells him. She's like, I can't overcompensate for you. You yeah. weren't a man when I married you and you're still not a man now, because if you were mm -hmm. a real man, then you would be able to understand what, what wrong. who I am and what I am and that I am not a threat to you because I love you. Yep. And I could never be a threat to you because I would never I don't demasculate you. You do that to yourself. Yes. I don't make yes. fun of you. You he make never, fun of yourself. She never treated like and didn't want to give him the gift she got him because she knew that he was gonna make that think make it be like it was to emasculate him, and that wasn't the case. I don't know. That man was so cute, but he was such a oh man, he really was. Yeah, he was fine as hell. <laughs> like a little, little fine Asian man. <laughs> Mm. Okay, but what point are we at now? We're like we we didn't skip everything because we didn't skip I just the, really we, liked her story and I really liked her character I and I too. just really felt I, bad. I for really her. enjoyed that part. It's the type of thing that makes me actually want to go read the book. Like, like, and I know I say that a lot about films that have been adapted. I mean, books that have been adapted to film, but man, this is one where I'm like, I bet you the, the, the book really digs deep into that, which I would love to know more about and, 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 and feel more of that and read more of that. Okay. So like, obviously now we know Eleanor is like the bitch of the year, you know, <laughs> but also grandma I like her. The grandma, grandma liked loves her. her. And that pissed her off too. Oh, that made her so mad. That made her so mad. Cause now they're like doing these 
traditional family things because obviously it's a wedding. So there, you know, more families around than usually aunties and uncles and every, you know, and everybody's peeping the scene because you got Nick, the stud of all time, the only child, everybody's like, I, I forget what they call it, but just like the apple of everybody's eye, you know, especially the favorite. They literally yeah, the favorite. And he brings home the American girl. Like, in we're what? You know, she's Asian American, but she's American at the end of the day. And, you know, everybody knows that Eleanor's not a fan. And you see the hate. And they so messy. So they just want to watch the train wreck happen. Well, they just want to watch the train wreck. Nobody like try to pull it to the side. You well, know, uh, like, the cousin did. The cousin did. The cousin did. The cousin did. But, but other than that, like. And Astrid. Yeah, Astrid. But I think it's because everybody's scared of Eleanor. Like, you know. Well, yeah, the cousin again, said that. That is. Yeah. That is, bro. She can like, cut your ass off. You, you, you know. the money coming from her. The money Unless you then did something on your own to create your own money. Mm -hmm. And even still, that money ain't nothing compared to the money she pretty much. So <laughs> pretty much. So we're so now we've we've established that hey, mom's not feeling it. It's going to be hard to win this woman over. Like because I am a reflection of her. I am. Her. Yeah, yeah. So she it, it's yeah. And, and, you know, like as the viewer, you know, as the audience, we're like, oh, we see why you don't like her. I, I'm peeping game. You know, when the grandma, <laughs> you just don't make dumplings like the way you used to. Oh, like, God. I was like, oh, goodness. So I see it. You throwing back what you getting dealt. You just. I see why oh, you was about to push him down the stairs. you the family ring, so he had to go get a ring made for you. And when she said that, it brought up bad memories because that's what you're going to have to do too, boo. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. And it was just like, it was just like, instead of her in that moment being like, let me take you under my, and, and you know, yeah. maybe. And even like, when you thought she was, she didn't. She didn't. And maybe in a different world, like, Maybe Eleanor would take a different, maybe, just maybe she would take a different route, but it was too personal. If we were talking about somebody else's son and we were talking about somebody else, like, you know, she was one of the aunties at one of the other auntie's son's wedding and she saw that that was happening. Maybe she'd help her a little bit. Like, look, girl, I did this the same I went through the same thing, and I can tell you right now, it's gonna take forever. It <laughs> might, it you might, it might never ever happen. That woman still be on my ass, like. <laughs> but but it was her son, her one and only. Yeah. And you you just you know how you know how women are. Mm -hmm. Period. Mothers are about their sons. Mm -hmm. First born, last born, middle born. It don't matter, mm -hmm. especially if it's only one. <laughs> especially if it's only one. Yeah. So we can go to the bachelorette and bachelor parties because oh, that's man. when it got weird. This is when they just show off again. That Oh my God. First of all. I mean, the whole movie's a goddamn show off, but <laughs> when they stop, when they get out of the story and then they just like, we're doing the next thing. It's the next day. You're just like, God damn, they rich. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, that's this so is ridiculous. Money. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen anybody with money like this who never. do it like this never like ne you can't look at like the royal family and they like turning mm -hmm. up like this like mm -hmm. they got long money i guess i mean right that's what we're told you know yeah the royal right. families, but they don't do it like that you know it's got to all be in line and be some type of certain way and you know what i'm saying it's really not clean pretty. it's clean. not whimsical like, it's not like that you know what i'm saying fun. Yeah, exactly. It's not fun. Yeah. They were having fun. They were yeah. kind of like, hey, man, we're going to have the bread. We're going to have the bread. And we're we going to spin that bread. We're going to spin that. We're going <laughs> to spin that. And <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it definitely is. <laughs> but like, that's really my only reference because I don't think it's nobody in America, but like maybe Jeff Bezos that's even got a piece of what they got. For and real. I'm talking and, about and how, often, piece. And how often do we see stuff like that? Like never, well, we never. don't see him. Like you see when, when they talk about the house, it's pictures, it's from up But above. that's his money. That's and, and not that's, his family's that's, money. That's not his family's that's not money. His, his brother his and his money. sisters and his cousins. They don't no. work for him. That's no. not how our culture is. No, we don't work like that. 
Bill Gates is Bill Gates. Yeah. Bill Gates' money is Bill Gates' money. He right. ain't putting his sister and his auntie and his cousin on. He ain't giving them money. He ain't letting them build a business. He ain't letting them run the companies. No. He ain't letting them be subsidiaries or nothing. That's not mm -hmm. how we do things. Mm -mm. Oprah not doing that. That's not what we do. Not when in America. Have a child yet to pass down none of that too. Like, no. not, so sure she's that's why about you don't see people, but <laughs> yeah, she ain't pass nothing down to them where it's like, yeah, I've helped you, but yeah, that's, that's, all not, you're that's not how it goes. So this money like, is mine. Jeff Bezos' money is Jeff Bezos. So if he having a party, it's not his family. It's him mm -hmm. and the people he invites to the party. So it's Period. never like, you know. I don't mm -hmm. know. Well, anyway, yeah. that's another yeah, So thing. We're, we're at the bachelorette party. <laughs> we're, at, we're at the bachelor party, bachelorette party, and we know it's, it's going to be something. Lord have mercy, is it going to be something? But, so old girl, the fiance, whose name always escapes me, she was two different people. And what? her version with her friends versus the version oh. she met on the first day well, let me look up her name real was quick. a total different person even what she said when she saw her I'm she a, said a gap chic i love it araminta 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 something like that even her what she said to her when she came up to her i was like oh she didn't flip the script on her uh-huh real quick uh-huh yeah, totally. Like, you know, even the whole like in introduction of the ex and, you know, like Nick's oh, ex. Oh, and he like was that. wrong like, for letting that happen to her. She knew that girl was going to be there. He knew she was going to be there. He and, and see, that is the funny thing about families and, and family events set up like that, because you know who's going to be there again. This is just more ammo to how Nick is the real villain, because he constantly let that like let, let her go out there mm -hmm. with with uh she had shells and they had real bullets <laughs> and she didn't have no vest man and played her so dirty but what bothered me is she's supposed to be good at reading people right i don't understand how she couldn't pick up on her she energy missed she missed that like who who is this okay you already like you see who hates you you see who don't like you you see how they roll who is this girl that's being nice to me? Who are you? Why do you like me? Why are you being nice to me? Like, yeah. it's so true. I, 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 I feel like for somebody who can read the room, you, as you said, she should have been able to be like, why this bitch in my face? Right. Like right. maybe I'll be cordial because it's like, but they shouldn't have been like, ah, yeah, but girl. not only that, why did you let that girl break you down? I would have told her, but but you know why? It's because Nick didn't forewarn her. Nick didn't prepare her, so he felt like she met she let he let her walk into that blindly. But I love the contrast between the scene is because on the other scene is Nick and his best friend slash groom, you know, bride mm -hmm. the groom mm -hmm. having that conversation about how you did not prepare her for this. Yep. You want to marry her, but you didn't set her up right. You know they they vote vultures you know they gonna try to you're protected she's nothing when she's not mm. with you you yep. you don't you won't yep. ever know how that feels and you literally set her up for failure you want to marry her but what are you gonna do you gonna leave because either you're gonna leave or you're gonna stay you're gonna make her leave her whole life you know yep. what i'm saying what what are you really doing like what is your real point what are you trying to prove and yep. why are you using this nice girl whom i like who I think is a great person as your jump, your, your diving board to get away from your family. Mm. Mm. Hey, he was a real friend. Yeah, he was because, you know, he was he a real friend. people don't talk to him like that. People don't mm -hmm. handle him like that. Nope. And he hadn't had that in a while. He hadn't had nobody talk to him like that in a while. And he deserved every single bit of it because every single part of it, it was true. It was incredible. Incredibly true, and I'm so happy he told him. Like, yeah, he that. yeah, he hear that? Hey, Stacy. Hey, Stacy J, baby. But yeah, but, so the girls, the girls say some mean shit to her. She go into mm -hmm. her room. It's a damn fish, dead fish in her bed. A dead fish in her bed. They did her mafia style, bro. Serial killer mafia. writing. I like, love when she's like, they put, it, <laughs> they put. <laughs> Go to hell, you go digging, gold bitch, digging in bitch. serial killer writing. Like, for real, <laughs> like, real talk. Like, who, like, as someone who's not a serial killer, 
I could never just like write in in lip sticking <laughs> <laughs> writing, right? Like, are we are we making a haunted house here? Like, what are we doing? Like, and then they buried the what? fish. And then they buried the <laughs> which I didn't get at all. And I don't know. I didn't understand that either. Like, I understand why you probably wouldn't put it back into the water, but like <laughs> Throw it away. Like y'all stay in a very nice hotel. I'm sure they're they out there with shovels burying. Like, I'm sure the people at the front desk was like, You need shovels to do what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, you know, then Astrid and, and and um Rachel have their moment. Mm -hmm. You know, she basically tell Rachel. That you know, old boy cheating on her. You know, they had a little sentimental moment. Then she get back to the crib. Nick, she kind of cussed him out, but I don't think she cussed him out good enough. No, not it. Not as close as what he needed. But not as close as what my man's gave him. No, like, not at all. Mm -mm. And I think that's because she still didn't know. She still thought she had a chance. She still thought that maybe everybody doesn't like me. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just those girls. Maybe I'm just. I'm trying to figure it out and I'm trying to um make it not, you know, one of those situations where it's not you, but it's you because it's you. You know what I'm saying? It's not yes. because yes. you're the you. You're that the representative complete, of you. That makes complete <laughs> sense. It's not you, but it's you. Because you just you. so happen to be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just walked in. I didn't ask for <laughs> any of this. I didn't ask for any of like, I didn't I even like, know who he was. Ago, I had no idea. You know, I'm still figuring it out now, bruh. And that's why when things leveled up and leveled up and got more intense and more intense, she's just like, could it get any worse? This. Could I it get just any worse? I was coming to Singapore for a wedding with my boyfriend. Right. So <laughs> it's, just, it's sad. It's you sad. Know, it's after the wedding. It's after the, I mean, not after, before the wedding, but after the, the bachelor wedding. party and after yeah. mom that said you ain't never going to be good enough, he finds Ooh. out that the mom sacrificed him to the grandma, basically, so he will become the favorite because <laughs> she never liked him. I mean, she oh. never liked her. So she's sitting there like, uh-uh, this is too crazy. This Bruh. just told me that I'll never be enough and she's sacrificing kids, so am I going to have to sacrifice my kid to Bruh. her? You like could see, you could see the like the fear in her eyes when she's like, "What?" But she also don't want to have this conversation with Nick because at this point she don't trust nobody. She uh -uh. don't know where to go. Uh -uh. She don't know if he uh -uh. about to downplay what she said, and she really don't want that to happen because then she don't feel some type of way about him, and she don't want to feel no, no type of way about him. Feel like that way about because him. she don't want to make him the bad guy because she in love with him, but he was the bad guy. He was the bad guy. He okay. was just gonna keep reiterating the, the fact villain. that he Nick is the real villain. The bad guy. <laughs> you might have to start a list like the, the real villain. Guy. The real villain. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. The real villains. And was Nick Young, not Eleanor Young. Nick. <laughs> so then she has a conversation with Pink Ling. You know, tell her to bark, bark, bitch, because you are bark, bark, you a banana. <laughs> she think you yellow on the outside and white on the inside. No, when that hit, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Wow, you know what I'm saying? I thought I heard a lot of racial slurs in my time. You know, <laughs> you know, and see, it's because you know, ra racial slur. I will say, racial slurs from other races hit different. I mean, I'm sorry. Racial slurs from within the culture hit different than like racial slurs from out. Like, hey, man, they hurt. All racial slurs hurt, but those ones that's like inside. Like, I'm sorry. Like being called any type of form of dark from people who are also black, it did hurt a little bit more. Yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's creative. It's creative. The yeah. banana. Come on, man! You can't get better I said, than oh, that. I said, you oh, get better than that. That's what I said when she said, "I said, oh, now you know you're wrong, girl. You know you're wrong for that one." <laughs> I love the writing on that because it was dope to like inform us of what a banana was, and then she's still like, "I know what a banana is." <laughs> 
I I know, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but Dang. not only that, that whole scene is funny. Like it is, it I'm is. I'm not playing chicken with her. Bok, bok, bitch. Bok, like, bok, bitch, yeah, because it's it's true. They were like, you have been backing down. You've been you all this, okay, you know, like killing with the kindness, killing with the kindness. Like, you can't play that game with that bitch because guess what? She going to push you down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> you keep playing kind where I, I think I'm lost. Like, you should have <laughs> ran. You should have ran. You should be like, oh, I, I know where I'm going. Yeah, like, because like when she would talk to her, she'd be talking to her like they cool. Like, I, I, like, she, I don't, I don't think you said, oh, it. I think I'm this, lost. This I, woman don't. You think I she, and she run. still didn't show you where the damn bathroom casually. was. No, she You're right. You're right. First of all, then that means you had to use the bathroom. You acted like you about to push me down the stairs. I'm about to pee. And you on my drove phone. all the way back to the hotel, man, and having to pee. <laughs> she never got to go to the, the comedy of it all. The the comedy comedy of it all. all. <laughs> Bruh. The, and again, I still blame Nick because he down there like, ha. Ah. She's great, isn't was she? Never unhappy. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Even when he was getting cussed out, he had a big ass smile on his face. Like I understand what you're saying. I, yeah, yeah, I, I just I don't really get it. I don't really get it. It's just life is just so easy for me. I mean, <laughs> I'm Nick Young. I'm Nick Young. But I'm not. I'm, it's not like that, though. It's not like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because I, 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 it's my parents' money. <laughs> right, right, right. My grandmother loves me when you're your grandmother's favorite. Uh, I mean, you just, you just act like you're oblivious to all of it. <laughs> all of it. God damn you, Nick Young. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay. So, basically, we have this fun scene of, like, the they're playing an Asian version of Material Girl. Mm -hmm. Um, they do, so cute, just so lovely. Yeah, the montage of Pingling and the other cousin getting her together for the mm -hmm. thing, and like going through all these different outfits, yeah, and they yeah. never reveal the outfit of choice until it's time mm -hmm. for the yeah. wedding. Yes, <laughs> you know, it's like, damn, like she's showing up right. Mm -hmm. Then here come mom. Oh, she she disregards all the bitches. From yeah, because this is like bachelorette party. Cocktail hour, right? The, yeah, that was like a cocktail hour, right? Yeah, well, it's like it was. I don't even know. I just think that was the 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 uh step and repeat. Like <laughs> they went and had a step and repeat. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that was the press. Low key, yeah. Like, if you want to know anything about the wedding before it happened, come to this event. <laughs> and here come my, she see mama. They talking about a lady who got her whole role to herself. She see her. She like, no, no, she did. Oh my god, Is she over there talking to that. Woman? But she still jab stabbed her and said, "Our role is full." The jabs don't stop coming with Eleanor. It, man, Eleanor didn't stop. I tell you, the foot was on the neck. But then like, she started rubbing off breathe? on them aunties. Can you breathe, Rachel? No, you can't. You can't breathe. You can't breathe. Because, because that's the thing. The other, my, under, other people didn't care. She cared. They they just wanted to see the train wreck happen. So oh, that's man, why the last it. auntie was just like... Because like, she like, okay, this, like, what this, do you love? I'm confused. She like, tried. This, she tried. Okay, I see you, girl. I see you. She like, I see what you're trying to. I see you trying to come with it. Like even the face they was making when she was talking to the one lady who had had sold up the road for herself. Yeah, like, who really just sold up the road because she sold up the road, but she wasn't unapproachable. No, you know, she knew who she was. She talked to her. She said what she said. They opened, said an open dialogue. They sit mm -hmm. there having a good time. Now, mama pissed off because her plan didn't work. She Again. thought she was gonna make her sit there. And you know, that's when he really, that's the Ooh. moment he fell in love with her. Ooh. Like, that is Ooh. the moment. Ooh. Because even, and you know, and real villainous, like he, like she's probably just in the back row acting all shy, you know. Yeah, like oh, she's <laughs> like, probably. In he, the it's like it's like he already knew his mama was gonna be like, you. Can't and he trying it. to he's trying to rationalize it so he don't get pissed off. Yeah, and he's trying to make it be okay because the only way he 
can literally accept the fact that they are torturing the woman that he loves for tradition is by trying to rationalize it. Jeez, my God, if there's never been anything clearer, is that Nick Young? <laughs> oh, can't stop saying it. It's like every five minutes, I'm going to say it. Jeez, the man is a villain. He's, he's fucking, oh my God. Because he just, he said it out his own mouth. Oh, she's just probably going to like go to the back. Like she'll just chill in the back. And then like, nope, baby girl is talking to one of the, other like highest ranked status people there as well. And I mean, they're just having a grand old time laughing it up. She looks beautiful. Like, of course he's seeing her in a way he's never seen her before. Like he used to seeing her in blouses and jeans. Like and not only that, he is seeing her be herself. The reason why uh, he loves her in the first place and not giving in to the BS that she been going through all week. Like, like, perseverance because <laughs> you're trying to say she's going to be sitting in the back so it can be okay when you see her sitting in the back yep so you can give her a pep talk when she come back to you and say oh they were just so mean to me and i didn't oh, know what babe, to do so i didn't have babe. anyone to say babe, anything i'm just so to. sorry that's just how it is babe it's just like that babe oh it'll get better it'll get better babe <laughs> Well, so no, like like it. I don't know. I don't know what that accent was. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm like, I don't know what that accent was. I'm so sorry. Yours or he is? Her, mine's and his. Because oh, I'm like, shit, is he from the know. UK? Where is he from in European? <laughs> like, where what did the English boarding school? Like, where did he go? He's not what? <laughs> He went to a British boarding school. That's what she was saying. Yeah, I know. I know Britain. I know that it gets different. You know, there's a lot of different accents, but it was it was odd. It was hard to pinpoint. It was just like, <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, what did you think <laughs> about the wedding ceremony and the reception? Oh my gosh! Like, okay, first of all, like you know, you're talking about there was a lot of moments of like the brink of just you know. This is really sweet. You know, that water started to come down. And I'm just like, you know, the only person I ever seen do something like this is Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's happening, right? And I'm like, so you telling me she about to be like, no, ha not had no shoes on? She about to walk over these lily pads and water? Like what? Oh my God, the music's playing. You know, Rachel, Rachel's looking at um Nick. Nick. Nick's looking at Rachel. I'm, I feel it like right here in my throat. Like, it's just like, oh, the mama see it. So, you know, I'm like, ha ha, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you see that love. You see the love brewing. And then the water. And then she, and then she stepped out. And oh, no, hold on. First, the bride, the bridesmaids just like opened up. She with her dad. And then the, oh, man, beautiful. Just, 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 just it was really like, if you got money, this is the way you spend it. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> like, I mean, for a long time, you know, the best wedding to me and money well spent was like Tyler Perry, you know, the real <laughs> angels oh in the, <laughs> coming from the ceiling playing, oh playing little God. baby harps. Like for a long time, that was like one of the best wedding scenes to me. Like, you know, like rich people with money, you know. They they did it. They, I'm sorry. Number one. Number one. Number one. Numero uno. <laughs> and what about the reception? Bruh. They like a whole like quartet. I mean, no, that's not even a quartet. That's like I love Lucy Band. Yeah. <laughs> they had a, they had a, yeah, I, I, I forget what they call those bands, but like when they all just got their own little section. Like, yeah, like the like, I don't know. But it, yeah just crazy rich Asians, bro. Like it was just, it, it, again, every time I'm like, dog, how much money did they spend to make this movie? <laughs> like, like, they really, they really went all the F out. It was, it was beautiful. It was amazing. But, you know, of course the reception, it's hard to have too much fun there because 
Mama just can't let up. Mama you can't know, let up. And she knows. I like them. And, and everybody like her. And Ooh. if I don't get this girl out of here, right. it's going to be a wrap. Again, writing. I love the way they set it up. You know, it's like the, you know, like the maid or assistant lady. You know how maid assistants are. You know, you never know what they are. You're like, do you clean up or do you just like <laughs> send messages? Like, who are you? Like, what do you do? But, you know, just like one of them link lankies that you'd call them, I guess. And it's like, oh, Nick, uh, your grandmother would like to see you and Rachel. And I'm just like, yes, this is like. To tell her that it's all about to, good. You have to tell her like, hey. If you want to marry Nick, Nick's want to marry Nick. Want to marry you? Y'all should do it. Like I'm just like, yes, we about to get our moment. Baby girl told her. I mean, that's what I will. Oh, wow. Give. What? That's what I will get because I'm in full screen. That's what I will give Asians. Whoa. That movie did well. It did very well. Jish. Wow. Jish. Jish. So I, I know a lot of people who would have saw that like three times though because they really yeah. liked it. Anytime, everybody I've ever, not ever, but everyone that I've talked to about this film, they said they love it. They watch it multiple times. They've it's watched good. it. Multiple times. It's great. It's just good. I like, spoiler alert, I'm watching it again. <laughs> I will be watching it again. Um, but no, like, we think that she about to get the okay. And um, what I was going to say is, like, uh, uh, I, what I've learned with Asian people and like just foreign people period and like they are just very upfront they don't hide behind anything um she didn't even she didn't even act, she didn't even tell her she y'all ain't about to get married in another in, in, in english she just said it in her language like no but this is the underlay for the overplay she made it seem like she was about to say something nice she did <laughs> she started she off did. like you know rachel you real smart she but did. what you're not gonna do is you're not about to come up in here. You're not about to mess with my. And he's like, wait a minute. First of all, because I don't understand what you're saying. Right, right. But what's <laughs> happening? Second of all, I hired an private investigator, and we found out that Rachel has been lying to us this whole time. And her daddy did not die. Her mama cheated on her daddy with another man, another man, and he alive. Now, what's really messed up about this, and what really broke her. And you see, it from, you see it. Yep. That you see it. This was revealed. It was the fact that it was news to her. She didn't even know. You could tell she didn't know because back to what you was talking about in the beginning, Rachel had nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. She knew where she came from. She know what she's done. She's been, pr she's proud of who she is and where she comes from and her single mother working hard and giving her the strength to be the person that she is today. So she has, not, I ain't, I'm not about to act like I'm something that I'm not. This right. is who I am. Right. But damn, you just told me some shit that I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. and so she, first of all, I've had a dad. My mama cheated on my, what? Hold the hell. Oh my God. Are you? That bothered me so much because I kept saying, when I first watched the movie, I kept saying like, I wonder if she going to hire a private investigator. And really? then when she did it, I was like, oh my God. I wasn't surprised that she hired a private investigator. I was surprised that she found out something about this girl that this girl yeah. didn't know and that she yeah. didn't lie about it because she never knew. And the fact that you use this as a fuel to try to manipulate Nick to thinking that she did know so he would leave her alone. And you're terrible. You're terrible. But what killed me about Nick, well, he stood up to them. He did. Standing up to them is not saying something or cussing them out. Saying standing up to them is disobeying them. And yeah. when he walked away from his grandmother, when she's like, when she said, "Don't you go after her? Don't you chase do, after that you, raggedy girl? You, you don't come back. Don't disgrace us." Yep. And when he left, that that was the moment that he stood up for her because he hadn't stood up for her. He had been making excuses. Correct. The whole movie. The whole movie. But that po girl, ooh, that it's part just, is so hard to like, watch. Man, man, it's see, like, uh, and you are correct because I can tell you one thing: to hear things that about yourself <laughs> that you didn't even know, or about people around like you. your family. Yeah, because it's, it's family. happened to me. 
not from like a private investigator, but it has happened to me. Things about like my mom and dad relationship that I had no idea about. And it's just, and like, it's just put on you real quick. Like what? And it's like, what? I had no idea. And how could you, or why do you think you have the right to tell me this? And it's like, in this situation is different, but mm -hmm. I'm sure people who are watching this and that, that has happened to you with your family members, or even like the episode of Insecure where Molly finds out that her father cheated on her mm -hmm. mother and mm -hmm. she had not known her whole life and it devastated her. Or yeah. Tamar Braxton when she found out things about her father that she didn't know and we literally watched it devastate her and wreck her as an adult and all her siblings looking at her like girl what you didn't know right and she's like, no i didn't and no. this is shattering my world right. and my vision of y'all is just acting hella normal like this is okay and now you making you really effing me up because y'all knew exactly and you ain't say nothing exactly exactly so then we, we talk have, about how families get jacked up. Yeah, just That's simple right there. stuff like that. Simple stuff, stuff like, that. like those that. elephants in the room that people Ooh. know and they keep it from you or keep it from someone and nobody ever tells nobody. And then it's mm -hmm. like it blows up. And granted, it's just her and her mom. Yeah. And she never thought that anything like this would happen. But her mom, well, see, her mom didn't know that they were that rich either because I'm sure if her mama would have known, and this is where Nick comes into play again, she would have told her because she would have known that they would have did that. Yep. Yep. And she would have, she would have never let her go over there, go over there without that information. Cause she, yeah. like, they're going to try to use this against you. Yep. Like, so let tell me, Nick, let me yeah. sit my baby girl yep. down and tell her what really happened because these people will find that out. They'll use it against her. And I know how sweet and precious she is. And I know that she ha she would have no problem with being like, I hey. didn't know about this. And this is something that I just mm -hmm. got wind of. But like this is, she would have told Nick on the drive there, on the yep. plane. She or before told, and said, well, I look, I don't know if you even want me to go because I don't want to be, you know, bringing yep. that into yep. your life. I don't life. want you to use that against me. So maybe you should just, yeah. Like then we wouldn't even have a movie because right. she wouldn't even, <laughs> she wouldn't do it. She she right. wouldn't, it was no story because she wouldn't have even went. Because she would have, because of love, she would have said, you go and do that. Yeah. You go be I don't want to mess you. your thing up. I don't want to mess your stuff up. I don't want to, I don't want to bring that type of energy. So let's, I'll stay, I'll stay here. I'll stay here. Yeah. So, you know, she said, she said the best oh. part of this movie to me was that when her mama walked in that door. I bust oh. out crying. I bust that out crying. That was the second <laughs> time I was about to start crying. I That's bust out crying. Time. I felt it. I felt it. When the little oh. girls brought her to dinner. Here's your oh, food. yeah. I started crying right there, too. <laughs> Bro, when the girls brought her, she was just so sad. Just so, like. Because... And they thought that was going to help her eat. And I just started crying like, poor Rachel. And then her mama was talking to her and she was telling her how great she was. Mm. And she just started crying again. And, they, and I just started crying. I was like, oh, they didn't, right. they didn't Why broke this girl. They didn't broke her. They didn't broke her all the way. For real. Down. For real. It was just like. Man, why they do this? Like, I hate her. I don't like her. Like, damn. And, and okay, so, you know, her mama, you know, come. Mm -hmm. You know, something happens. The next scene, we don't know what's happening. We just see nope. Eleanor walking into yeah, this place this so they could play Marjan. Yeah, like. <laughs> and they play. And yeah. they have a conversation and they talk about their moms and they talk about their traditions and they talk about, you know, why she doesn't fit and why she doesn't like her and mm -hmm. why she would never be good enough for her son. And then she says, you know what? And you're right in your own way. Yep. So, you know what? I'm going to buy all gracefully. Oh, but I forgot. Nick proposed. To Nick me, proposes. Though. Nick, yeah, because, because he comes of to course, see her. yeah, because it's like you know the mom reveals like <laughs> the reason I'm here is because Nick called me. He told me what happened, and he paid for me to be to get here. Right. <laughs> that's, how I'm, that's how I'm here to rescue you and be here for you because Nick helped me. I wouldn't even know. Him. I wouldn't be here. You'd still be crying into a damn pillow, girl, because I didn't know. But right. Nick brought me here. 
Right. You know, so she's like, well, damn, if Nick can do that, then I should at least answer his phone call. I should talk to him. He proposes. We don't see. Just like you said, it just cuts. Yeah, because I thought and, she was going to say no. Because I, I mean, thought, she did say no. She did say no. But she didn't and, say no because she wanted to say no. She said no because she thought it was best for his family. Basically. And that's what she explains to her. And she, I mean, in the way, I mean, I thought that she balked, balked when she pulled up with the, you know, the dress and, you know, set in the role with the lady and basically like sealed her fate with the, with the love with Nick. Like I thought that that was her balk, balk moment, but her balk, balk moment was when, was she, when she, and she explained her rationale to her. This is your rationale. Okay. Oh, and let's, I beat you, but I let you win. And I've yep, been beating you this whole time, but yep, I let you win. Yep, well, let's play your game then. Let's play your game where you win. Let's play the game where I let you, because like, let's be real. It's not you winning. I let you win because your son still wants me. He'll give it all the fuck up. But he going to want me and y'all ain't never going to have the same relationship, but you're going to get what you want. You but he ain't going to get nothing and you're going to lose Ooh. your son in the process. When oh, she... also, I bitch beat you in my job too, but I let you win that too. And I let you win. And now yeah. you're sitting here like, stupid, stupid. This little heifer. Stupid. That's how she was sitting there. She was like, she this. was. She was like, damn. Little heifer that made me have a realization. Yep. Damn, I ain't learned nothing this whole damn time. Damn. Until this moment right here. Until this moment right here, I realized and you want to talk about a nut oh okay so yeah <laughs> we're, we're getting there now nah. <laughs> i'm sorry i just didn't want to cry i hate movies that pull on me emotionally that i don't expect so i just thought i was gonna laugh and be like oh <laughs> yeah. wow <laughs> and <laughs> Bro, it just taught me a lot. Oh. Just I, I will be watching this movie again because I feel like it's so it's a lot. It's a lot up in there. Right. It's a all lot. right. Thank you, GFT Radio, for coming in. Please. Man. Um, so yeah, so now like she had her bok bok moment and um she on her way home. She on her way home. She like, well, let me get my mama. Uh I'll Nick. we out, baby deuces like i'm really about to leave the love of my life behind but damn it it's all I, right it's all right I, it's all right because you know whatever is supposed to happen will happen and but but what what is what i do have control over is i can take my ass home i don't have to sit here for this no more right. i don't this the wedding's over the mama done went to places that i didn't even think she was capable of. her son didn't think she was capable of let's bye i'm gone and you know, we we know come on, man. It's 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 a romantic comedy. Nick is not gonna let you go. Then we see the bus. We see the bus, which thank you, GFT Radio. He, he broke it down for us that all international flights are not um <laughs> uh very nice. Some of them are very spirity. <laughs> <laughs> they have the spirit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> And so then his little ass airline bus and Nick is confessing his love like a true nigga should. You know what I'm saying? He he came through like this is the what this is the expectations that I had or how I wanted to propose to you. Super grand. Take you to the beautiful island. Sunset comes down. Pow, 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 pow. And she just like, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like half listening, but it's like it's romantic, it's beautiful. And then he just like but fuck all that. Like, I'ma ask you right here, right now, will you marry me? Oh, it ain't. I mean, come on, we know we they crazy rich Asians. We know the ring is beautiful. But I thought it was gonna be the ring that he showed his best man. Oh god, when he opened that box. And it was the mama ring. I'm getting goosebumps. Like, I'm getting goosebumps. I got goosebumps. I, you, oh. I was, oh, my God. I lost it. Because I, I was, forgot. I had forgot. I forgot, too. I was, and I was like, oh, oh my you know, I was, God. I was in my feelings.
feelings. It was beautiful. I love, I again, the writing, the way they set it up. Like he talking about the way, because even when she's listening to him and she's like, she, it's almost like she can even imagine it. Like she can see it too, especially after the, the three or four days that they've had, she can see it too. But she loved him so much that she like, you could tell me your surprise and I'm still like in awe of you. And then when the ring is the mother's ring, um, you t I, I was there. I, it, I it, when I said it was right here, it was like right up in here. Oh, like, no, I was crying. It was right up. First in of all, my face literally went like, oh, oh, oh for sure. I was just like, oh. damn. I cried till the end. I just sat there crying. But see, that's the it funny thing, so oh, Yeah. So of course, so. Uh, dog, I wish I recorded it, but I'm about to just reenact it for y'all. I will just reenact how it. So he tells, you know, we see the ring. I'm like, this is beautiful, man. The mama, the way she hugging on a random woman. It's like the woman was like, she said, yeah, she does. I think, yeah, she says. <laughs> she wants to marry you. <laughs> it was hilarious. Of course, she says, yes, it's beautiful. And he's like, you know, you know, we're not going home, right? Like we turn around. We, I, I, one more day, one more day. He opens her eyes and it's this, everybody's there. It's an engage, you know, it's an engagement party. Like we got engaged. Everybody knows it's beautiful. It's just as beautiful as every party and event that you've seen throughout the film. So then, you know, her and the mother share a moment. And it's definitely one of those like, okay, bitch. You okay, know, right? it's it's a oh, oh, it's a straight up okay, bitch. Like it's it's not like this it's just is like when her mama looked at her, like yeah, yeah. it's, yeah, it's mm -hmm. not like the necessarily the beginning of like oh the beginning of a battle, like it's not that, it's just like but you have a long one road ahead of you, yes, because it's it's like, well, you just beat the first level boss, what you realize is like yeah. because she was the level 10 boss, she's actually the level one boss. And... It don't matter what you tell G Ma. It don't matter what you tell her. It's See, a we rap. still, we still, because you got to remember that nigga walked away and she said, if you but, walk I mean, away, she don't I, die soon, though. This is true. Sorry. RIP. <laughs> <laughs> but the, this is what, so I'm like, oh, it's beautiful. And everybody's having a good time and celebrating. And then, you know, but not only that, you got to think about it from a traditional standpoint. What? If her son, the grandma's son come home and say, whatever he wants to do is fine. You're not writing mm. him out of a will. You're not doing anything. All she going to do is say, okay. Okay. Because their yeah. son's running for them. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he, he's the one. So if he come home and cut it, it's cut. It's cut. And she going to have to respect that girl. And she going to yeah. have to do right by her. Period. So, so let me set the scene. So it's the beautiful engagement. Everybody's happy. We're all dancing. They start panning out. And then it starts happening yeah, for me. The, the emotions start, it start happening for me. And I'm like, damn, this is a beautiful event. <laughs> so happy for them. And they panning out. And I'm like, damn, they're on top of a on top of the city. Damn, that's nice. I'm like, damn, that's they're on top of two. What the fuck is that? On top of two glass towers? And then they pan out more, and I'm like, three glass towers? <laughs> Why am I crying, dog? <laughs> and the fireworks. And then the fireworks. I'm crying right now. <laughs> Damn, this is, this is a really good moment. What? <laughs> Ooh wee. <laughs> Dry. Oh, somebody click that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the third glass tower. I was like, what the fuck? It's fucking beautiful. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was beautiful. Oh, my God. I was trying to fake the tears and real tears came. <laughs> it was goddamn beautiful. That's funny. And the movie's over. And, man. It's such a good movie. I forgot about the part about her mom giving her that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She gave her that nod and then she just went off into the wind. <laughs> no, like that's that. No, this is my child. Okay. Oh, this oh. Is my child. Okay. Yeah. 
So yeah. I understand your culture. I understand your rules. I broke it down to her. But yeah. understand that I birthed her. So you can say what you want to say. But mm. I birthed her. This is mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. oh, 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 oh. Now I know what you're talking about. Yo, that moment right there, too. I, I was I was feeling it that moment, too. I was like, hell, yeah. She looked at her like, mm-hmm, I see you. And then she said, oh, wow, she's a real person. Oh, they're people. Oh. Yeah. That's what she had to realize mm -hmm. real quick. And which is, you know, probably which get, what gave her mm -hmm. that allowed her to have that moment to be able to be like, you know what? Maybe I need to let it all go. Because this don't make this don't matter anyway. Not it, really. it don't matter anyway. It don't matter anyway. That man mm -hmm. could that boy could do whatever he wanted at this point. He's the favorite. That ain't gonna change. He can do whatever he want to do at this point. You the only one, you're literally the only one that doesn't like this girl. You're yep. the only one standing in the way. You're yep. the only one. And grandma would have liked her if you wouldn't have did that. If you wouldn't have did that. You going trying to tarnish the girl reputation. And she didn't even know. Yep. And they didn't even speak to that. But my last question for you is. Yes. Like future standpoint. Do you think that she, do you think like in a, in a, in, in this world, do you think that she ever truly was accepted? Like just if we had to revisit this movie 10 years from now and they made right. another movie, would it be her like still fighting with the mom or, you know, do you think that? Well, I mean, much like most marriages and, and, you know, events, of this such, you know, like uh, the, the wedding happens, the family's all there, people all have their fucking opinions and the things and tradition and legacy. And then the two people go off and they live their goddamn lives. Mm. Um, I believe that again, that was, that's what we're thinking. Like that was the level one boss. Like it's safe to say that you still had like you, when what happens when the dad comes home and then he feels differently just like you said like he makes the he makes the, all those changes okay who like who's to say that nick really doesn't have to make that decision like i really do have to cut off my whole damn family because now my dad's home my grandma's still mad my mom really not there but she only did it to have a bit of me like <clears throat> and maybe let go of her own shit maybe you know she had her own like almost her own therapeutic Ring. Yeah, yeah. By like, letting that ring go, basically saying letting that ring go. I'm letting the hurt from how I was treated go and showing her that you know I respect you yes. as a woman. Right. I respect you as a woman. Right. Maybe I'm you are cut you out. This. Maybe you are cut out for this. Yeah, but I I I'm giving you this because this ring meant so much to me because it showed the sacrifice mm -hmm. that my husband made when we got together because you know, normally you wouldn't marry a woman if you're supposed to traditionally take the family ring, especially in a family like that and and mm -hmm. do that. So I got a bigger and better ring made for you because I wanted to show you how much you meant to me. And so now I'm passing the torch by giving you this ring because yeah. I can let that shit go. Yeah. Because obviously she eventually got the ring and that's why she was able to let that ring go. Exactly. But now I can have myself free of that. Mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, totally. So, I mean, to answer your question, I, I think it's, it's just so up in the air. It's hard to know. I mean, of course you want to think in a positive way. I mean, I, you, you like, it's hard to say. It's hard to say because then when you start thinking about bringing kids into the mix and then it's like, OK, but that child needs to know where they're from. And here's an opportunity to continue on said legacy and, and teach. And, you know, he shouldn't grow up American. He should grow up with tradition. And like, I don't know. It's, that's that's what they probably point. eventually move to Singapore. I definitely I, definitely believe I would assume that they I would assume that they would. And that like. I mean, because she had no other family. It was just her and her mom. Yeah. What would be, she could go be a professor in Singapore. Period. So, um, shit, makes me feel like, I mean, I don't know if there's more, if that's that was just like the one-all be-all of that book, you know. It's more, it's more books. 
So I, I mean, I would love to see that story continue on. I would love to see more because like I said, that film, it was really good. It, it, it got at me in ways that I didn't think it would. I just thought I was going to, like, I never watched that movie thinking that I would feel the way that I feel about it now. It's a great movie. It really is. It's really, really good. Really so, good. What is our quote for the week? Oh, man. Uh, you want us, like, the one that we kind of came That's to terms right. with? Yes. Yes. Uh, so this was... Uh, the movie quote is very okay. So I guess I'll just say the movie quote and then we'll kind of talk about what it was, what it kind of speaks to and how it uh, aligns with the film. So this is um, a quote from Frozen from uh, Olaf. And he says, uh, some people are worth melting for. And what kind of goes along with it or what it's based on is basically that sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself for the ones you love. And I mean, if you if you saw the movie, if you've been listening to us at all, that was like a huge component of this film mm -hmm. sacrifice. Are you willing to let it all go? Because I, I think that's why they go so wild with the whole money thing, because are you willing to yeah. like let all of that legacy walk into a room, people know who you are. You can have anything you want. Nigga, don't got to worry about if gas is in the car. Don't got to worry about if your phone bill is paid. You don't check that stuff. Oh, did Netflix take money out of my account this month? No. Like, you got the bread. <laughs> <laughs> are you willing to give that up because you in love? <laughs> or as a mother, are you willing to risk the relationships that you've built over time mm. because of tra tradition? Yes. Are you willing to set those traditions aside and make the sacrifices that you know are, is right for your son to, for, for, for him to be happy. And I mean, yes. happiness is fleeting. We all know this. I mean, Astrid was happy at one point with her husband, mm -hmm. but because he was never really happy, even when he married her and he never thought, that he was good enough for her, even when she he was courting her, and it didn't really come out probably until they were already married. That happiness soon faded, mm -hmm. and it's not her fault. Not you know at what all. I'm saying? She was just trying to tippy toe around the elephant in the room that they never just attacked think, yeah. head on, and they should have done that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I just hope that with them that 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 doesn't happen. Because mm -hmm. for her mother to make that sacrifice and then it doesn't work out, it hurts on another level. It does. You know what I'm saying? It hurts on another level for all parties involved, not yep. just the mom, but Nick, Rachel, and the mom. Because you mm -hmm. had to give up, Rachel has to give up a lot. She yep. knows she's going to have to deal with a lot of people that's not going to like her because she's with him. Yep. Nick has to give up a lot. He may have to decide whether he's going to move her to Singapore and she's going to have to give up something that she may eventually resent him for. Or she, he's going to have to give up something that he shouldn't give up and yeah. come to America and maybe be broke for the rest of his life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like everybody has to sacrifice, sacrifice. something. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out, the sacrifice is in vain. But we do that because of love. We surely do. We surely do. <laughs> that <laughs> That's so real, true. man. That's real. That's so true. That is so like true. it's it's real. So yeah. So um, that sacrifice, or or you know, it, it's huge. It's, it's huge. A huge thing. It's it like truly huge is. Thing. All right. So uh, I'll uh, lead this out. So we're doing a. At, we wanted to obviously continue the tradition of our. Um, having a theme, you know, for the month and, uh, with June being pride month and us being both allies, we really, really, really wanted to do LGBT, uh, movies for the month of June. Like what are we watching next week? Right. But we have a very, very special premiere, um, of a film from, uh, Charles Kennedy, uh, uh, called affliction. It's a, uh, kind of like a, a thriller, and uh, it premieres tomorrow on the 28th. And so uh, with that said, that is actually the film that we'll be watching next week. We'll be watching a nice little indie film, which is so cool to be able to support not only a friend uh, or the family, what? <laughs> uh, be able to support a friend of the uh, friend, um, 
of us, but uh, just like supporting a film that is, how can I put it? Like independent. It's an independent film. And so uh, we're super excited about watching it. Uh, we got the plug, of course, you know what I'm saying? Because Charles is the homie. But we really would love if you all um, who are watching to go out and pre-order um, is available now, but of course it will be available tomorrow at seven o'clock, 15 bucks. It's at uh, Vimeo on Vimeo.com on demand. All the information is below. Uh, so to make sure that you are in the know of the film that we're talking about next week, we need you to go and watch the film. And so you can know about it. We're also going to work on possibly getting um, maybe, I, I don't know how long you can watch it, but uh, like how long you can rent it, I mean, but we're looking into possibly maybe doing a special showing of some sort, but we had a double, double check in on that. So we all make sure that you can see this film as well. But if you can, please support, um, check it out. I, this is one of the one films that Misfitted Academic, Zach, Charles, that I had nothing to do with. I wasn't on set. I, I mean, I kind of know the premise of the movie, but I don't know anything. So I'll be just as surprised and in like, I don't know anything. So I'm super geeked. I don't know what's going to happen. I heard there's some really cool stuff uh, with the plot and the synopsis of the movie. So I'm, I'm geeked up. I'm really, really excited. And not just because it's the homie. So um, yeah. Yeah. We kind of switching it up. and But then right after that, we'll get right back into the theme of uh, Pride for the month of June. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all. Yeah, I know we're going to watch the week of my birthday. Because sweet, it's my birthday. sweet. I already know. That's, it's lit, it's lit. So yeah, so we celebrate Chevy birthday, celebrating Pride. We celebrating just the love of film and, you know, just getting on here and being tipsy and talking about film <laughs> and talking about movies and TV and shit. Uh, so with that said, I guess, like, is there anything? I mean, I've already voiced about <laughs> this film. I will be watching it again. <laughs> I might watch it later on this week. Like, I might watch it this weekend. Like, just because, you know, I might I definitely let out another need to put part. that in my rotation. I definitely need to put Crazy Rich Asians in my rotation. It's a very well done film. and. Um, it filled me with the same feelings that I, I was filled the first time I watched it. It's just them hard parts. It's really hard to watch. And a lot of times I don't revisit things because I thought mm -hmm. about all the bad stuff. I didn't think about all the good stuff. Yeah, like the yeah, stuff that yeah. My, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> hurt your that, feelings. Ooh, that mama, Eleanor, is something else. Ooh, but, I um, oh. Sure. Would you, what do you think about this being adapted to a, um... What do you think about this being adapted to a television show, like a series? Oh, I definitely will watch it. Like an episodic. But I yeah. need them to be in it, though. I, yeah, they would have to be part of they it. Would yeah. Have to be like, it. yeah, you didn't want, like, um, the and way Constance, TV, who know. already has made a statement, she's not going back to TV. Dang. She, she hate, Dang. She, by the end of Fresh of the Bo Off the Boat, she was like, oh, thank God. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. That's real. That's real. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, that would definitely be dope. I definitely would. Um, I see what you're laughing about now. Yeah, spicy trip. I'm back on the chat. I'm back on the chat. And this fool, so I was like, y'all watching a gay ass movie. <laughs> the lesbian is, oh. well, no, she doesn't call herself a lesbian. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. She of is course. a, um, <laughs> no, the, she is Charles, a Charles's movie she is not, <laughs> has nothing to do with LGBT. <laughs> she is a Stacy. Don't put her in the box. Right, right. <laughs> Oh man. So <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, but a gay ass thriller. A gay like, ass thriller? Low key. Something's wrong with you, Stacey. That might that might hit. That might hit. You could, you we need but it is that. one. It one is one just came out on um Shutter. It's about like uh, sacrificing a a a, 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 a gay couple. Mm -hmm. Like so, like it's about these a gay couple who moves into this neighborhood and um they're people in the neighborhood and they're weird, but they're okay. And it's a, it's a biracial couple. So it's a, oh. a, a black man and a, a white man mm -hmm. and they move into this neighborhood and the white guy doesn't see it, but the black guy does. Of course. And, and 
you know, basically they find out that they're part of a, a ritual that they conduct on gay couples, LGBTQ plus couples, and they killed a, a female, a lesbian couple oh, like snap. 10 years ago. And this ritual happens every 10 years. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, it, low key so good. <laughs> It's a thing. It could. It could it's be a thing. thing. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind watching that because I haven't watched right. it yet. Well, I mean, hey, look. Once we watch Affliction, we we need we need the suggestions, people. So let us know. And so I'm down. You know, I'm down. So yeah. Um, I guess it's safe to say. Tell the people where you at. Just, man, you already know. Instagram point of view finder Latoya Coates. Still ain't been doing that with my switch, but that's okay. <laughs> Not my switch, my Twitch. Uh, that's that's fine. That's fine. But you can still find me there, you know, because you're gonna see episodes that we do with two snaps in a circle. And uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I am Chevy, the superstar on Twitch. Please follow me. Um, yeah, subscribe if you like. Um, you can subscribe for free with Amazon Prime just to try me out. If you like it, you can stay. I don't mind. Um, yeah, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at S the Superstar. Um, I've actually started um, trying to dive more into like retouching and editing. So I'm trying to challenge myself to watch these like videos where I learn how to do a new skill every day. Nice. And try to do the skill every day. So, I like that. I'm getting really obsessed with like trying to better myself in that area. So maybe I'll get the, get the, get the, um, nerve to post some of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do it. But yeah. So follow me on my Instagram as superstar. Follow me on my Twitch. Oh, also guys, please, everybody in our chat, please go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our channel because none of y'all are subscribed to our channel (laughs) because most of y'all I know. So. With that being said, I need y'all to go to our YouTube and oh, subscribe I mean, I to our to... channel. Yeah. <laughs> go I was, do just, that I was literally us, just in my head like, dang, I, I should plug our YouTube <laughs> as well. But yes, thank and, you so much, um, Stacey. Yes, thank you, Stacy. And also for my birthday, um, which is the 25th of June, I really want to do something great. And I think we're going to give out some more prizes. We got some more dope stickers. No. Um, and yeah, just make it a grand old time. Yes. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for coming and chilling with Thanks us today. We had a nice stream today. We streamed for two and a half hours almost. Let's go. I'm um, geek. Because we love Crazy Rich Asians so we freaking much. Love. Um, such a great movie. Definitely recommend. It's on HBO Max. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching it on YouTube. Tell your friends about us. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. And, you know, we will see you guys next week at um, 8 p.m. Don't forget to go tomorrow. Well, today you can go and pre-order Affliction Mm -hmm. um, on Vimeo. But tomorrow it releases. It's $15 and you can watch it on Vimeo on demand. Please go and watch yes. Affliction. Please. So we can all discuss it together. Yes. I'll give you a quick synopsis. In the search for himself and his artistic pursuits, a young black writer, Antoine Gordon, Jordan, Jordan Jr. stumbles upon a reality he chooses to ignore while also ignoring his mental health. So come on now. We, we, we come in with the hard stuff. We come in with the hard stuff. Yes. And so then just support. Do it. Support it. Support us. Support the great streamers that were in the stream today. Shout out to Stacy, DJ Stacy J. Shout out to GFT Radio. No. Shout out to Tanya. Shout out to DC Dude. Yeah, Jarell on stream, but shout out to Jarell. Real Always. seven, real seven, because that's Love my best you, dang on friend. You feel dang me? Dang on it. Thank y'all Bestie. for coming. Thank y'all for be here. Everybody follow everybody who in this chat because everybody in our chat streams. So support mm-hmm. these other streamers and we will see you guys next Tuesday at 8 p.m. to discuss affliction. Guys, go get the movie, pre-register, no, 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 pre-order. No. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.